The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. This episode of Good Times and Mo the Podcast is brought to you by Globe. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex, sex. are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Welcome to the podcast. It is a Tuesday night, 5th of November, 2013. Good times from Mobile Podcast Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Hi, my name is Mo. Phone number 478-7954. Skype, the Good Times Podcast. You can even text us at 0927-214-1981. Uh, this Tuesday night, really special guest because she's uh, all kinds of awesome. Really good friend of mine. Beautiful, talented, charming. However... She can't stop singing that goddamn song. What did the fox say? What does the fox say? That fucking awful, awful. She got in here. What does the fox say? Hey, now you're singing it. <laughs> That's true. It is very catchy. Denise Alrell on the program. Hi, Denise. Welcome Hi. back. Hi. It's nice to be back. I missed you. I have uh, missed you uh, so darn much, and uh, I'm incredibly disappointed. Why? Um, uh, because I heard you're getting married. I, I can't believe you did this to me. Uh, <laughs> I really, like, my, my world has shattered. And what is all this drama? That, no, I mean, really, drama, well, congratulations it's happy. first. No. Okay. Yeah, congratulations. That's, that's good stuff, you. man. And I, I think uh, you have all, I mean, you know, being in this business, now I'm not an A list celebrity, mm. but I've been in show business for quite a few years now, mm. maybe 15, 17 years. And there are so such few people that, kind of uh, there's such few people like denise like you're really genuinely friendly and loving and like my family and my friends and my, you know you get what i mean it's like well you know occasionally maybe you'll get into an altercation i just don't see how anyone can dislike you and if anyone would get pregnant even if it's a sh kind of like a celebrity a celebrity kind of thing or get married you're all embracing of all of these things. You Hell get what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I mean it's like, life. Like, you, you're, you have a you have a son, and he's all over your Instagram, and you just absolutely adore him. And I, you, then you know now you have a fiance, and you're just kind of you like sharing it with people. Not everything, but you genuinely love these things, and you don't find that a lot in a lot of celebrities. You know, there's there's always kind of like a wall about family and marriage and relationships and stuff like that. But you, you're kind of you embrace it and you share it with people and you're generous about it and you're genuine, which is probably the word that I really want to stress about you. Aww, you know what I mean? Well, you Does know, that make sense? I just want to make other people happy too. And I feel like, you know, when I'm happy, I want to share that. So it's like, you know, this is what I'm doing now and it makes me so happy. I want you guys to see it and it might make you guys smile too. So, you know, that's Yeah, but, but there's not a lot of self-centeredness about it too, you know? It's really about like being together and family. There's a lot of fucking um cool. cheesiness almost <laughs> to it you know right it's like i you don't gotta know bring it, the it, f word yeah. well, well, sorry wait, i mean that in in a good way because you know like shit could be a good thing you know, like it's not just like feces but it's like hey that's my shit i love it you that's know it, you know it, yeah, it's it's saying it's all it, it encompasses a lot of meanings no but congratulations man Thank and then you. he seems like a really good guy and again i, I i've not met him or I don't, I don't think i've met him but you, you know will. i feel like I feel like I know him via your Instagram yeah. and the way he gets along with your son and stuff. Just your godson. Awesome. 
Yes, my godson. Who's it? So, oh my god, this guy's better looking. <laughs> yes, he's better looking and huge by the Who's day. Somebody boy, was like, you know, "Is that Mo Twister's kid?" I was like, "Uh." I wish. Uh, Look how good looking that kid is. If I could fart, if I could fart kids out that good looking, then I would do it more often. They'd be more impregnated. Like he looks because like, I. Um, I put him glasses, and they're like, he looks like Mo Twister. And he was really, really smiling. You know how you and I, we super smile when we do smile? That's right, that's right. And we don't oh, yeah, you'll never see me a photo of me not smiling, exactly. right? Exactly, it's weird. Not cool. smiling for a photo. So, yeah, they think, like, he's your kid. Yeah, uh, what did the fuck say? Ding, 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 ding. Jesus Christ. See, yeah, I told you, you're going to be singing it in the bathroom, oh, washing the dishes. I'm plagued by Cleaning it. up your booty. So, so what's the deal here? When are you getting married? <laughs> Uh, next year, end of next year, maybe. Um, we sure. still have a lot to do. I just got proposed to, so it's not like you know when you get proposed right. to, it comes with matching plans. You know, you still gotta. Well, I'm still hoping. Do. I'm gonna cross my fingers though that it doesn't go through with it. What? Like, I'm hoping. So. <laughs> yes. Hey. Because you and I were supposed to get married when we were 35. Remember the deal? <laughs> Shoot. We and, didn't make that um, deal on the podcast. <laughs> we made that deal here on episode number two or something like that of this new season, and I'm gonna stick by it. So if if, if you guys are not gonna get married till like late next year, hopefully. Then I still have that's hope. Horrib- then in the next I mean, that's funny and horrible and nice, so but horrible. That you guys are going to absolutely get into this big fight and he'll cheat on you. <laughs> and oh, I just I can't wait for that to happen. Well, you you're know, going to be a bridesmaid. Are. You have to wear um, a dress. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be the guy who says, screw this. By the way, do we still need that? Like, do we still need that in a wedding where is anybody uh, in the audience think that these two shall not be married? Uh, please speak now. You actually think someone's going to be invited? I don't know. Is that Do still they... part of it? It doesn't make sense. It feels like, yeah, right. Okay, here's the list of people that I'm going to invite to my wedding. And right? one of them might. And one of the chances are, yeah, one of them will likely probably do something like that. I think that. people just watch too much Wayne's World when they're like, no, right. Cassandra. I mean... <laughs> I, I really do hope it's no. I haven't been in a wedding. I haven't been to a wedding in a Me really neither. long time. I really do hope that they remove that shit. The whole if anybody here thinks that these two should really not be that. bonded. Did, by- I, I don't know. I wasn't the type of little girl that dreamt about weddings and stuff. So I didn't really like do research. Yeah, and I, I mean, again, I only see this stuff in the movies. I can't recall if anyone has said that recently. But forever if hold they your do peace that, or something. Yeah, if they they do that, can we please remove that already? It's pretty stupid. Okay, I mean, for I you, you're I won't invite somebody. I won't have it. <laughs> My Thank you. Please tell the brave priest. Listen, the whole kissing, kissing the bride shit, the whole uh, you know throwing holy water, whatever the hell you do on us. Fine, we'll keep that. But the whole yeah, someone who rejects this marriage, please stand up now. Probably don't need that. So you did, unless you say, see Mo walking around here. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only one that's possibly going to do something. You did say you're like going, that. right? For, we'll, we'll think. But about it's the Godfather. Again, I'm still, yeah, but I'm brokenhearted. That's why I'm Aish. hoping. You know. I'm hoping. Let's see. Let's say in the month before your wedding, if you guys haven't broken up yet, then I'll book my flight. But aside oh from that, fingers gosh, across. Oh, my gosh. That is horrible. Fingers across come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> um, right, let's get to uh, some of these calls. Are you ready to go? You ready mm-hmm, to go? Mm-hmm. You're good at this. You've been here on the show several times. Speaking of marriages, let's take this first call. It's a married call. Uh, her name is uh, Kate. She's 33 in Quezon City. Hi, Kate. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. Hi, Kate. Hi. This here is Denise Laurel, my future Hi. ex-wife. <laughs> Thanks. All right. How can we help you, Kate? Yeah. Um, my story is um, I got pregnant last uh, Feb 2011. By the way, I'm just 22 years old now. Mm-hmm. So I got pregnant Feb oh. 2011 and then got married by July that year. And sure. the case was um, my parents wanted me to get married because I got pregnant. Now, my boyfriend's parents did not want the marriage yet. Because um, parang sabi nila bata pa daw and all, but my mom did not want that, so gusto niya kasal talaga at all cost. So ang ginawa nung, nung boyfriend ko that time, is sila lang nung dad niya yung may alam na kinasal kami, so civil wedding siya, na pinais lang yung papers. So yun, so we got married without them knowing. And then yung situation ko after ko mga anak, they did not want to see the child until like May wow. uh, th- this year. So ganun katagal, wow. they did not even go parang wala akong connection na anak ako na birthday ni baby niya yeah, everything as in they do time. not care so wait, 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 Kate, pa. Kate I'm, I'm sorry I, 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 hold on Kate I'm gonna cut you off I introduced you as 33 years old you're 23 years old right not 33 23. yes 23. Yeah. and then you're saying it your was your family that wanted you to get married but then you got yes. married in secret 
Why? Yes. Uh, but no, it was with my parents' consent, but not with the guys' to consent. Oh, okay. So. And it's the guys', the guys parents guys. that are, have not seen the baby at all in three years or whatever. Or two years. Yeah, but the, uh, this may be already saw the baby, pero hindi rin ganun ka attached. But, yeah. But that's his family. I just want to know whose family is acting like an asshole. Is it your his. family or his family? His family. Okay. So your parents know that you're married and they're fine and everything. It's his parents that are being dicks. Okay, continue. Sorry. <laughs> I just had to make that clear. I, did, I was getting lost here. Sorry. All right. So they, they finally saw the baby in May. What? Sorry. They, they finally saw the baby in May. Continue. Oh, sorry. I can't really Sorry. Pico, no. shut the fuck up in the background. You can't hear us. <laughs> So you so, they finally saw the baby in May and then uh so what uh the the um right now yung situation ngayon is we're going to get married um November next year so i was wondering if tingin niya ba sabihin ko pa sa parents niya na civil wed na ba kami or let it be na lang kasi parang hindi rin ganun ka stable yung relationship with them like hindi nila tanggap na may responsibility na yung anak nila sa ibang bata in ganun so parang sa kanila I, uh... parang yeah. Yeah, I absolutely think you should not tell them. Anything you add that would strain the relationship, you just don't want to do that. You, you, they, you so? Because, like you said, sorry, uh, go ahead. But like, because everyone in my family knows we're already married. So, parang gets, pag dating sa simbahan, sila lang may alam na hindi, na civilly wed na kami. Ganun yung case. I think, you know... Uh, like, everybody knows. As fragile... I mean, Denise, we gotta keep the lie going here on this yeah, one, right? I mean, okay. Uh, the first time I heard it, I was like, okay, you know what? You've already lied all this time. Might as well. I mean, there's no reason for you to tell them. But when I thought about it more, I was thinking the reason why they made contact with you, is, with you guys is probably because, you know, they realized that... You know, life is short. Family is very important. No matter what happens, you guys will always end up together. I think that you should tell them. And I think that, you know, it'll be hard at first, but they'll appreciate it in the long run. You telling them the truth since you guys are already going to get married again in church. Um, yeah, but, but, but Denise, she said that their relationship, even till this very day, isn't very stable. So, I mean, we're, yeah. see, we're seeing gradual, turtle-like speed in terms of fixing this relationship i mean it's the, i think imagine if the fact that they didn't even see the child till this year but he was born in 2011 what pushed just them means to, that these people what, yeah yeah that's a good question what pushed them to what go pu see you guys again Hello? kate kate yes. can you hear us so she's what, on ma phone. what she's made them want to see you guys again Hello. Yeah, sorry. Let me try it. I'll, I'll, I'll speak louder. Hey, uh, Kate, what what made your fiancé's parents see the baby this year? Like, why finally now? Uh, to tell them the truth. To just to be open. So you guys made the first move, not not them? Well, for me, I really wanted them to know in the first place, like when they when they already started talking to us. But then again, my husband didn't want them to know yet because again, the relationship was not yet stable. But if it was up to me, so I'd rather keep no secrets to them. Yeah, here's my thing, uh, and and Kate, I'm telling you, this is really the way to go. Don't disregard what Denise is saying here. Um, <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Huh? No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, you should keep this a secret. I I think it was you're gradually getting to a point where you're finally having some sort of dialogue with the family. As you said, it's not stable, and if you throw them and you hit them with something like this. They're going to go, oh, so these past three years were a lie. They might even blame you and say, you know, it, 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 it can get that ugly. And the thing is, is it not necessary? Like, if you're going to get married next year, and to them, that's the first time you're going to get married, then that's the first time. And, you know, if, if they're a religious family, then it is the first time exactly. you're going to get married. And that whole civil that, nonsense that is point. just, <laughs> yeah, that civil nonsense is just paperwork, you know? So... It depends on how you want to sell it to yourself. Okay. I say absolutely do not tell them because it's just going to add another thing to what to what they already hate about you. No, I, you know, it, it's just another lie that you're going to throw on there. And and I think uh you, well there's two lies here. There's <laughs> the initial lie which you've already told and then there's the lie you're going to tell. And I think they're going to cancel each other out. You have to tell this next lie. Hmm. 
so you lies, can cover lies, up lies. the first one. Okay. I know, I know, I know what Here's you're going to say. Point. These more lies, it's, it's, it's worse. All right, go ahead, go. My, my thing is, you know, you can always explain to them that you want them in your life. And that's the reason why you're going to be completely honest is because you respect them and you appreciate them. And you don't want to hide anything from them. And it is just a civil um, wedding. I mean, marriage. So for them, really, the church wedding is going to be the first time. So technically, you're just telling them that civilly a while back, you guys got married. But the reason why you're telling them is because you respect them. You don't want to lose them in the long run. And... You just want to be honest with them, and you really yeah, appreciate. But she doesn't really respect them. They're they're bad people, though, Denise. Like she see, wants I them. I see your point. She wants them in yeah, her she life. She wants them, but but it doesn't mean they're good people. Like yeah. which which? But she does, you know, doesn't mean because it. they're bad people that she has to do the wrong thing. You know, she can. It's still not be that. The good. It's not entirely wrong. You're it's trying not entirely to save right either. Well, well, of course, but we're just taking the we're taking what's best in our opinion for that situation now i like see i respect your opinion no, about it i definitely oh, no, she left no no oh, she's she's that's just call think, people are calling I the show that, trying to get in that's the easy way out mo but sometimes you know things don't have to be the easy way you can be it can be the right adult way you know that's okay, harder. my thing is this her her in-laws are awful people okay if you think about what kind of individual would not see their grandchild for nearly three years just because they feel bad yeah, about so it if she, is if selfish. She's honest no, no, now, right? But that means they're leave, selfish. That means they weren't supposed to be in her life at all, anyway. Pieces of shit that don't deserve this this kind of respect, anyway. Then exactly, like, telling them would be a test too for them, for her, and for them. A yeah, test of her telling the truth. Bring more strain into this family. But in the long run. You know, if you lie and lie and lie, there will be more strain. You know that, right? Yeah, but in the process, in the process, this child is going to grow up with half of its Lola's and Lola's uh, absentee just because they were too proud to fucking... Their kid will have the sincere and real grandparents there, not the the mean, horrible... Right, but why not have both? So, I mean, you can have both. Why would you have two if one is horrible? Well, see, the thing is, the so other they, side might... So if they might... stay and they understand, then they're not horrible. And, you know, it would be good for the kid. Okay, fine, you win. Yay, Jesus. I win. Okay, goodbye. Okay. Kate, don't do it. But yeah, if you want to be... Kate, you listen to, to me. Right thing, I'm a mom. Yeah, if you want to do the right thing, you go Denise's oh, well, he's route. A dad. If you want to do, <laughs> do the realistic thing, the thing that's going to get you less trouble, no, you're, you're you do my way. No, you're doing the easy way. And the easy way isn't always the best way. So you know, it's still the easy way, <laughs> right? The, sometimes the best things you have to work for. It's not. It's not yeah, worth it. Bad. See, that's I the know, thing, Denise. Your kid I'd understand is worth if you everything. Said, no, okay. It, I w- I would understand if you said, oh, you know, if you want to work hard to get it somewhere, and then what you get is something worthwhile. These people are not worthwhile. But then if they're they understand, awful, they could self- be worthwhile. Maybe they, you know, parents, I mean, we yeah, know but you're this. you're going with could. We no. already know they're shitty. You don't know that yet? Parents make we mistakes. Know that. Parents get hurt. Parents make mistakes. Parents don't have a handbook. You know that. So oh, sometimes no, 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 people no, no, no. are just That's human and they react old school. Maybe they're old school. Okay, how about this? What Denise is saying is this. If you tell them now, do not be surprised if they act in a fucking volatile, really pissed off manner. But it's but up to you how, to, how line, you explain it too, you know? Right. But down the line, they might, oh, they might again, in another few years, uh, are willing to accept it. And uh, your soul will be cleansed from, <laughs> from because you'll be able to tell the truth. You're making it sound You take stupid. my way. My way is... Uh, yeah, you don't have to have lie, any more lie, drama. Lie, lie, and then years from yeah. now, there's going to be major drama, sure. but they can't do yeah, anything because I mean, you're already now, married. Maybe, maybe they'll go to the fucking registry and find out that you, in fact, lied and got married in 2011 and not 2014. The truth will always come out. But, oh, <sighs> fuck. All right, and whatever. it's going to blow up in your face and be one big... Kate. Poo-poo yeah. pile. <laughs> Whoever you want to listen to, I, I really don't think there's a wrong or right answer here, and that's yeah, why it's all it's up a healthy to you. Debate. You know, friends can. I mean, people can only give you, you just, advice. You just you know where I stand. I say don't do it. That's I all. say do okay? it. All right. Okay. Baby. Thank you. Thanks for the bye. call. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Mo. Thank you. Jeez. Bye. <laughs> why are you like this? Denise? Why are you like this? These people are fucking. They're awful people. 
Why are you, you so good at forgiving? You know, good people do so you're telling weird me, things like, too. You know. People no. who make mistakes of that caliber are uh, old school you, you, and sometimes, you know, they're no, close minded. You, just, you, but then you, kinda, you don't give you don't give them any more it's kinda like what if like a bong revilia or a jingoy says, Okay, listen, I took all fine, I took all that money. I'm sorry. Listen, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm but gonna But this now isn't about make, money, this is about children and family. No, it's That's about different. like just bad people and not giving them second chances and at every and every single time you gotta cut them off right away. You gotta we you gotta, you gotta trim that fat and throw it off but that fucking meat. This is people. This is family. It's different. I can cut Perfect. people off like that, you know. If I sh- if I invest love in them and appreciation and all that, and I don't get it back, and they're mean to me. I'll cut them off and act like I didn't know them in a heartbeat and like they never existed in the first place. You know that. If they're not worth it to be in my life, I'll cut them off. But when it's family, you know, at the end of the day, family will always be there for you. So sometimes things happen, but it brings you closer together. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I see, speak but the see, gospel this is why truth. You, this, but again, this is why you are you. And then this is why a lot of people really like you is because you are, you know, Miss Brightside, Miss, you know, things like this. And that's fine. You know, I respect that because, I mean, it's, it's why I like you as a, as, a, as a really good friend and a future ex-wife is because you're really <laughs> very warm. Um, uh, let's go to... You know, you and I are going to just fight the lot, right? Nah, nah, I'm just gonna let your mouth off, and I'm just gonna sit there and go. All right, cool. I'm gonna play with uh, with uh, with our son. (laughs) Uh, Let's go to Milan here. 16 years old. Uh, Along, yeah, hi Saul. By the way, he seems like a really good dude. We're just messing around. Uh, Milan, 16 years old, line five. Hi Milan, you're up north in Alongopo. What's up? Hello, is Milan really your name? Yeah, is that your real name, Milan? Milan, ba talaga pangalan mo? Nickname ko po, tapos the real name ko po, Maryland. Oh, I see. Wow, hey. I see, I see. Very U.S. and Europe. Uh-oh. Okay, Maryland. <laughs> How can we help you? Oh, uh, nakabahan ako. <laughs> kasi... Okay lang yan. Si Denise lang. Magkakabahan. Kami lang to. Ano yeah. ka ba? Eh, kasi... Ha? <laughs> huh? I don't Milan. know. Alam mo si Mo, kunyari lang yan pa English-English, pero magaling talaga yan magtagalog. Sige. Okay, Milan, banat. <laughs> <laughs> Go, ano po, you're 16. Ayun, What's up? Ano po kasi ay nga po napipilitan lang po ako kahit ayoko po. Nahihirapan Na ano? po. Ano po, atulad po ano. Ayoko po kasi umatin sa mga Di kita marinig, kinamo mo lakasan yung boses mo. Oh. <laughs> Milan. Kaya mo yan. Pinipilitan kang Um, gawin yung isang bagay kahit ayoko po kasi nagagawa ko lang po yun kasi ayoko po yung sumama yung loob nila sa akin Ay. ano to? sex? hindi <laughs> po bata pa po <laughs> ah sige tama so anong pinipilitan kang anong, anong gusto niyang gawin mo? kumain ng gulay? ano? what are we talking about here? Kasi po, specifically uh, Wag ka mahiya, hindi ka namin nakikita hindi namin alam kung saan ka nakatira hindi namin alam yes. kung saan ka mahanap at lahat ka ngayon, mga ganyan Uh-oh. So, so Freddie Aguilar of me, she's 16, I forgot. I'm oh sorry. my gosh, Mo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, Milan. Go ahead. So, pinipilitan ka? Kasi, kasi po, ayoko po kasi mag-attend sa mga church um, youth activity. Kasi po, parang, ano po, parang hindi ko po sila kilala. Tapos, parang na-out of, ano po ako sa kanila, out of place po. Kasi nga, bago lang po ako. Tapos, kailangan ko po magsimba doon. Kasi yung kuya ko po, pastor na doon. Eh, hindi naman po talaga ako youth doon. So yun lang? It's one hour a week. Suck it up and go. Sino Hold kasama, second, kasama mo yung pamilya mo? Yung mama ko. Bali po, ano, hindi po ako nakatira sa bahay namin kasi um, puro lalaki po kasi sa bahay. Eh. Mm-hmm. Milan, Plus, how many hours a week do they want you to go? Uh, sa isang linggo po kasi... Um, Pumupunta po kami sa church ng Thursday, Sunday, Ew. Sunday ng umaga, at Sunday ng hapon po. Parehas ba kayo ng yeah. relihi- relihiyon ng pamilya mo? Hindi po. Ah, so hindi ka naniniwala kay Jesus? Hindi po, naniniwala po. <laughs> uh, ibig niya sabihin, Catholic ka ba? Christian? Muslim? Christian po yung kuya ko, tapos ako po, ano, Mormons po. Mormon? Mormons. Apo. How the hell did that happen? Paano, ano nangyari yun? Since birth ka ba Mormon? 
May oh, dalawang gwapong uh, kano pum- pumunta sa bahay. Nag-knock on the door. Hello. My Come on, Mo. Shush your face. Come on. Sa akin to her. Huwag kang makinig sa kanya. O, tapos? Eh. Ano? <laughs> paano, uh, nung since birth ka ba, Mormon? Tapos yung kapatid mo, Christian? Paano, nang, paano nangyari yun? Okay. Well, okay. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's talk about, here's how she got Mormon. Let's, well, hold on one second. Denise. Yeah, that would really suck, man. Three hours, especially twice on Sunday. I mean, your off day. You got to go to the Catholic or Christian church. Oh, yeah. Well, Christian church. And the Christian church is much longer than the Catholic church. The Christian church goes for like two and a half fucking hours. Hey, while you the, know, um, I'm only going to say one thing because you're going to say I'm getting all religious and all that. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter what religion you're in. It's how you take the time off for God. Because he's with you 24-7. You can go pray wherever you right, are. Right, right. But, but you but can be is, with you God anywhere. Her. Okay, but, right. But that's you. That's because you like being with God. She doesn't want to be with that God for yeah, four hours so on a Sunday when it's, it's my day her. off. People have different um, traditions of how they like to celebrate their um, belief in God. Doesn't mean that it's right or wrong. Oh, but yeah, she doesn't have no, to. Listen. She no, doesn't no, no, have to no. go if Listen, she doesn't want to. You're right. But like, 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 okay, let's take a sport. Let's take football, for example. Soccer, right? That's a four-hour match, a three-hour match. I don't follow this sport, so I'm going to be miserable compared to the guy who freaking yeah, so loves I'm saying... uh, Lionel Messi. But my thing is, what if they're making me do that twice a day? Like, I have to watch the morning match and the night if match? she doesn't want to go, she doesn't have to, but she can also look at it as time with her family. So she can go at least once a week. What? Ano ba mangyayari kung hindi ka pumunta? Oh, man. Ang gagalit po yung kuya ko sa akin. Tapos, ano nagagawin niya? How, the irony, um, right? That the, the pastor po, will get mad. Bibigyan na po ng ano, punishment. Di po ako pwede pumunta sa ganyan. Di po ako pwede pumunta sa ganyan. Nagpapaliwanag wow. ka mas sa kanya? The, wait, hold on. The irony Bye. that the pastor's not allowing free will. <laughs> Fucking Christian. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, here. Listen what we need to do, baby doll. You have to still go. You know why? You're 16, and that's the rule. Yeah, rules. and your kuya says the, so. Yeah. When <laughs> so. he says you got to go, you got to go. You live in their house. That's the rules. You got to do it. However, here's the bright side. She when you're 18, done. you can tell your kuya to kiss your ass, and you don't have to go. But in the meantime, while you're still you know, fairly young, you have to go. And you can also look at it as he wants to spend time with you or he wants to bring the family closer together and you closer to God. So you can look at it in a positive way instead of going there like, oh, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. You can go there open-minded and kind of enjoy. Now, there are ways around it. Like, if, for example, the Thursday, right? Try to take a class. I'm sure you're in college. Are you in college, uh, Milan? Yes, but... Take a, take a nighttime class, a Thursday night class, like, or a Thursday afternoon class. So you, when you get home, it's like 9 p.m. There's no more time for that Bible study stuff. You just, you're in school. So you've knocked out one of the three times you have to go to church. And then on Sunday, if there's any way you can get around it by getting into some sort of activity so you don't have to do the morning one, something that they'll, be approv- they'll have an approval for, like say you're doing charitable work or do something that, you know, you can still kind of be... You can still some, do something good for yourself, like say get involved in some sort of uh, charitable drive or whatever, a fun run for cancer. Or think of some sort of excuse that you're still doing something good that they'll approve of and it gets you out of church on Sunday morning. And then go, okay, cool, yeah, I'll be there Sunday night. So now you've actually successfully knocked out two out of the three times you have to hang out with him there. <laughs> Does that make sense? So Thursday, you have school, take the night class, Sunday morning, every Sunday morning, do something else that you're, you're more willing to do. Like, again, charity work, something positive that you, they will be approved, they'll, you know, you'll get their approval. And then Sunday night, you go to church with them. Okay? okay. Thank you for it. And Sunday night's usually faster. Sunday night's usually the faster mass because they're, everybody's tired by that time. The Sunday morning ones are the ones that go on for fucking ever. Grabe siya. <laughs> well, they'll sing an extra song or two. And shit. It's like, come on, guys. Let's hey, I up. sing for church, huh? Yeah, no, I'm just saying, right? Saturday and Sunday mornings. You guys, you guys will throw in an extra song, right? Or two? Right? I'm just saying. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm sorry? I'm Roman Catholic, but then I believe in God. And so I think that all Christians are equal. There's no that right or wrong. Don't, yeah, but the religion. board against don't agree with that. You're Catholic. Well, that's you know. them. They can think what they want. Yeah. I love everybody. 
Yeah, but that's what her <laughs> brother's saying. Her brother's saying that you're going to hell. Oh, by the way, and uh, wait, have you admitted to your brother that you're Mormon? Yes. Alam ba niya? Opo. Alam niya? Okay, I'm going to get Isipin right. mo na lang na nagiging kuya lang siya. Gusto lang niyang makabuti para sa iyo kahit 'yun ang opinion niyang nakakabuti, hindi rin niya naiintindihan yung gusto mo. Pero ang above all, yung pinanggagalingan niya ay mahal ka niya. And above Thank all, you. you're 16, you have to do what they oh, say you know until what? you're 18. Oh, you know Whatever my kuya says, if he says jump, jump. Yeah, I jumped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. You got to do it. All yeah. right? Thank you. All right, baby. Take it. Thanks Thank you, Ate Denise, for Aiden po. Hi, nice to meet you, Milan. Kite over the phone. Thank you po. Thank you. All right. Bye. What about me? What about Mo? Bye. Jeez. <laughs> It's called Good Times with Mo. What are, where's my, where's my, where's my stuff? <laughs> hey, I told you I'm taking over one day. <laughs> Jeez. All right, fair enough. We got to take a break. We got some good calls coming up, by the way. So Yay. if you were not happy with that whole religious shit, don't worry. It gets better uh, in just a few <laughs> minutes. Religious Let's take shit. a commercial break. When we come back. <laughs> oh, man, there are sometimes. Oh, I don't even want to. I don't even want to admit to you how much we make fun of the religion stuff. I, a few weeks, a few you can't weeks do ago. that when I'm around. Oh, a few weeks ago, it was awful. All right, let's take a break. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malay na rin ang narating namin, maraming na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you download the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, with the game Chubby Bunny. But um, what's like? Have you ever played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth. You say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth. And you keep okay. Saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you, okay, gonna ba? Okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, na okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Or I'll learn two at a time. Okay, gonna ba? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, so the ball? Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, can I go? Okay, no, just for the Why 
what you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought <laughs> it was made it up. This time of year, right? Election time. Uh, you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> Children do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you're not we're able to, to verify all of these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically... <laughs> now, number two. Upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay. Cabin lights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lock all doors of vehicles. During inspection, since lock, oh, lock, they might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking. But that's doors. the thing. Okay. This is where they get you, and this is actually. I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yeah. this is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harassed. Drugs are planted. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and other things, stories. you know. Um, <clears throat> a Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh yes, no. I've heard of that, you know. And there's no defense for that. It's just there's Bieber really no defense. The, yeah, it's like, it's but Your Honor, we found this. I <laughs> throw, throw the book at him. The then CD as well. You, you know, then after that you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch James Deacon God. and the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, seven thirty to eight thirty, only here on the Factory. What show? That show is a show. You know, that show. It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show. Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina? And... Like a double blowjob. Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro. Vagina? Vaginas? And you're jacking off really intensely but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not... <laughs> Tears off! Tears off! Anyway, jaundice does not know. <laughs> this is a professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so, jaundice. And I'm now Happy to present to you, Carlo Tayo. Look at this, the third of it. Tayo, so many snacks. Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos? Ang puti, ha? Ay, tapos. Dito ba pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Consigo. <laughs> Ayan, para sa show mo, ha? O. Oh. Aray ko, ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Sora, pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing? Pwede ba itong pang nose line? <laughs> Okay, oh. may caution. A when, caution! When caution! What's that glamour thing? When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. Pura ina, pura ina siya. Oh my god! Dude! Sorry, ma. Pumasok yung glamour! Ito talaga? Ito bago yan, don't worry. Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi naman nagkakap niyo. Dapat pala caution mo na yung pinakinat. <laughs> Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. I was dared through Boss Man to, uh, to eat a sprinkle of, not sugar, but cinnamon. 
to you guys. Um, I don't cower down to a challenge. I take them wholeheartedly and with spoonfuls. And I'm going to take a spoonful of cinnamon. Okay. A thousand ways to die, and the guy died. <laughs> it was so sad. <laughs> okay, now say chubby bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I like the color of your lip. <laughs> Um, how was your experience? <laughs> I need a raise. <laughs> Hates me. Hold on, one more time. My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program, it is a Tuesday night. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season two, brought to you by Globe. Denise Laurel on the program. You can follow her on Twitter. At D underscore Laurel. She is uh, very talented, very, very beautiful, very wow. friendly, and uh, you will not be disappointed in uh, her being alive. Um, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> during the commercial break, you were asking, what song was I listening to? Yeah, I know what the, song was the listeners won't hear this, but it's called uh, All I Want by Codaline. Very want. miserable, really nice. Uh, I like it. AKA yeah, yeah. written by Mo Twist. <laughs> yeah, really, mis really miserable and happy. Um, oh, yes, phone number 478 Skype the Good Times Podcast. You can text us 927 214 1981. Love problems, life problems, anything you want to throw at us. We'll try our best to give you a solid answer. And uh, let's keep this uh, thing going. Hey, listen, uh, Denise, you need an Ask FM account. I know. You. you were telling me. I don't, I'm kind of scared. No, don't worry. Listen, you can't be scared because no one's going to see the, uh, the questions except you. And then the only time people will see it is when you answer it. So uh, here's nothing to be scared about, especially you. You're tough as nails. I know, but I'm not You really... know, let me ask you this about you. You're tough as fuck, right? But you're always <laughs> so good. You're, you're sick all the time. Oh, because like, I work so hard. I don't, give, work? I don't give anything half-baked. Everything I do, sure. I give 200%. So at the end of the day, yeah, that's right. I got to rest. Spoken like a true athlete. So. You learn that from your boyfriend? <laughs> like a no, he like learned that. it from me. Oh, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's get to it. Here we go. Uh, let's start with Pia here. Pia is 18 years old, Quezon City, Line 6. Hi, Pia. Welcome to the show. Denise Laurel here. What's up? Hi, Pia. Hi. What's up? What's up, baby? Mm, nothing. All right. <laughs> nothing Fire really? away. So what yeah, can we help you cold. with? Just chilling. What's up? Uh-huh, just chilling. So okay, what can we well, help you with? And thank you. Hurry up. What do you got? <laughs> Oh, right. My boyfriend keeps on forcing me to have sex with him. And he always scares me that he'll break up with me if I don't do that with him. So why are you and with him? Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Have you had sex with him already? Or no. you're just delaying it? Okay, good. Good. Great. Because he's not worth what? it, obviously. Yeah. And how long has this been going on? How long have you guys been dating? And how long has he been pressuring you? It's been a year. Okay. And are you at least like blowing him or like what? hand jobs? Like what are you Don't so far doing no. sexually? <laughs> what are you doing? No, Nothing? No. Just making out? Nothing. Yeah. But you. Okay. Question. Do you right. love him? Fantastic. Okay. I'm sorry. Do you love him? Yes, I do. What, okay. what, what, what made you decide to be with him? I love seeing people step on dog shit. It doesn't mean it's a good thing. I am. I'm, I'm, let me get to you my get point. I'm, you know, no, no, no. no. The, I know, you know your point. I'm just telling her. Like, to... look, you can love him, but he's a piece of dog shit. Is what yeah. I'm saying. But anyway, continue. I'm not. I'm not sorry, I interrupted. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So, what made you want to be with him? 
I don't know. Maybe because I'm not really because sure. She's 18. Maybe because she's 18 or she was 17 at the time so, and he was the only one. Okay, who he's kinda... making you do something you don't want to do. Why are you like, still with him? Um, it's that when I was 17, he forced me to live with him. He forced and you? Ready? He forced me to live with him, yeah. And. Um, so now do you still he... live with him? You mean, wait, wait, how old is he? Time out. Fucking A, dude. How, how old is this guy? He's 21. And you just got up, you just packed your shit and you left and your family was like, okay, at 17? No, I did not. So you okay. did, I did so not you didn't live with him. Okay. okay. So he, he asked me to have sex with him. In, I don't know, I'm fine about Okay, lang. <laughs> oh, so... Pinilit ka niyang tumira sa kanila. Sabi mo, ayaw mo. Yeah. Tapos, but then I said no. So, in exchange for that, he asked me na lang to have sex with him. What is this? A transaction? <laughs> what are you? Awesome. An hey, object? Denise, listen. I know. Denise, I want you to go cliff diving with me. With the, you know, with that human parachute shit. But if you don't want to, you, know, you have to slit your feet. wrists in exchange. Right. That would be good enough for say- me. But if you don't, you totally have to have anal sex with me. I mean, you just, so, just with one or the other. So, <laughs> bakit ka pa, I mean, why are you still with him? Bakit ka pumapayag na ganyanin ka lang? That's her question. Why? That's why she's here tonight. Is because we're going to tell her, stop being with him. Yeah. Here's what I would do, uh, Pia. I would say you know yes. Uh-huh. Sorry, go ahead. She was going to say no, something. Sorry, go ahead. What's up? Kasi, um... I always say no when he asks me to have sex with him. Then there is this, there was this time that he keeps on sending me like, sent me like four videos of him having sex with other girls. That he told me that what? he will never stop. Yeah, he won't stop. This guy just gets better and better. Oh, this yeah, is great. He told me that he won't stop sending me those videos and he won't stop having sex with other girls if I don't have sex with him. I'm telling All you, right. run the complete opposite All right, here direction. We go. Here we go. This now, is pointless. Now, see, now I'm interested in this call. This okay, rela- this relationship is this is pointless. what I love. All right, let's get let's get Denise's volume up a little bit, Pico. There, she's kind of she's kind of a little distant. I don't know if it's the really mic. because I'm Indeed. yelling at how much I hate this guy. But that's why I knew you were kind of thing. I can hear you yell, but I can't hear it in my ears. I can kind of hear the anger. All right, yeah. Pia. So this is how we do it. Okay. First of all, we have to sell you the idea that you're going to break up with this guy by Friday. Uh-huh. You have to do it, Pia. Listen. But that's yeah. why you called, right? Because you're already thinking about leaving, right? Yes. No? Of course. Yes? Good. Okay. Well, guess what? We've confirmed it. You're now breaking up with this guy this weekend. Confirmed. Done deal. Come on. If you don't do it, I will light you on fire. Okay? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. If you don't do it, you like being hurt. That's what I'm saying. And hindi na uso yeah. yan ngayon. Hindi na uso ang martyr ngayon. Yeah. Girl, hindi yeah. na. Okay. So, listen. Uh, Pia. Listen. We, we're we're going to break up with this guy this weekend. Yes? Yeah, we. Are you, are you good with that? Group, group uh, effort. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Group hug. Yeah. So, so, here we go. Now, what we need to do is how are we going to break up with him is the thing. And what we're going to come up I with want it here to be is cold. a plan I want it to be of the most cool painful, cutthroat. embarrassing way to break up with Well, no, not really boyfriend. embarrassing. Just, oh, no, it's painful and embarrassing. Yeah, okay. just come on, listen around here. All right, so this I is what we're going to I don't think this guy's going to be, to be honest, he's not going to be hurt that you leave him. He's just yeah, obsessed with the thrill of the chase. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, he's definitely, he's not going to be brokenhearted. You have to know that. But that's not, see, that's the point. We want to we wanna be able to break up with him, but we want to make him feel bad. He's not going to feel bad if you break up with him, but he's going to feel bad if we do something about it. Like do something awful yeah. to him. And this is where I step in. <laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> and we're going to fix this thing. All right, so Denise, what's the worst thing for a douchebag of this caliber? What's the worst thing that can happen? To him? Hold think- on, does he have a big penis? She wouldn't know. Oh no, the videos. I don't know. The videos. Yeah, you didn't watch them. Relative to one. Oh. Be honest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Can, only. Huh? How about this? Can, can, can you do me a favor? Three I minutes. Oh, spectacular. Three minutes. He's lasting three minutes. Denise, can you can you do, can you do me a favor, Denise? Well, can that? you can can you let this girl? She's eighteen and she's a young one. I mean, you know, you know, victimized by this awful, awful person. No, she chose Could to she... be a victim too. That's why I'm very no, disappointed in you, honey. Yeah, but 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 you never also know. She might come from a shitty upbringing, and it, just, it was only kind of the that's natural no excuse. Thing to do. 
it is an excuse. But let me let me tell you this. Do you think she can borrow your boyfriend for one day? Huh? And just kind of like, you know, just kind of like, uh, I'm uh, something like, okay, listen, I think we have to break up. Why? Because I'm seeing someone else. And then I know this guy. This guy's going to, you know, he's going to do that because that's the kind of guy he is, right? <laughs> and then in comes Saul. <laughs> And says, just because I'm breaking yeah, bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, this is a this is a thing, right? This is a game, but and it's not serious. I mean, obviously, he's not going to date this girl. But you know, we just need this guy because it's not about breaking up. It's about teaching this guy a lesson that he can't go through life behaving this way. And what I feel is this guy hasn't gotten his ass kicked yet. Now, I'm not going to tell Saul to kick his ass. Just scare I'm going to tell Saul to say, hey, fucker, you don't treat fucking women like that. You know, maybe pick him up by his shirt into the sky, a la man of steel shit. <laughs> and did you know, just kind of like the next time I hear of you, whether it be this girl or another girl, this fist is going to fly and it's going to land on the bridge of your fucking nose. Just let him, just borrow him for like I five I have other minutes. people you can borrow. <laughs> maybe we can ask <laughs> Eric Ty. You know, the beast, as, he's, he's bigger. Yeah, you know, you get what I mean? Like, let's get it, let's get we, I don't know if I like to share. This is not for my, her. Uh, this I'm, is I'm for caring, society. Caring, but I won't share my fiance. Yeah, this is for society. <laughs> this, this is for, is for our sake. This is not for her. <laughs> okay. This is for the, you got to think about the bigger picture here. This guy needs to get his ass kicked. That's or the scared. problem. He hasn't been beat down yet. That's right. And that, that, this is where enter, you know, a few PBA players of, of, of large size, you know, who could really, you know, scare him. That's all I'm saying. What else can but we do? But here's my plan. Okay, that's, what's your here's plan? Here's my plan. You agree to have sex with him, Pia. And you agree to sex tape it too because he's Mr. Sex Tape kind of guy, right? And when you get mm-hmm. there, you kind of – we have to find a way where you leave him hanging. Oh, blindfold him? And be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get all really sexy. Blindfold him. Tie him to the bed. Make sure the videotape is going on. At this point, you probably have to be in your underwear and a t-shirt. Long. I mean, you can't be in jeans because he's going to find it fishy. So, you know, kind of get in a, a place where you look kind of sexy. Tie him up. And then, I don't know, man. We, we're, just leave him there with the videotape rolling. And they're kind of being broadcasted. Live, you know, it, it's a little bit of tech. It's a little tech work here, but I think you have <laughs> I think a viral video on movies. your hands. <laughs> no, really, no, no. I'm serious because this is. I could pull it off. I don't know if she can, but see, I would start with the video, and vi- you know, me and videos. You know, I'm I'm really big on this whole stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, these admission videos. I'd be like, hi, Just my name you. is Pia. I'm 18. My boyfriend has been pressuring me to have sex for a really forcing long time. Forcing me to live with him. Forcing, forcing me to have me. sex with him. Sending yeah, me forcing. videos. Yeah, sending me videos of sex tapes and he's having while he's cheating on me and all of that stuff. Tonight, I say, fuck it, and we're going to fight back. And I'm at, if you post this shit on Facebook, do you understand what kind of... You'll be on Ellen DeGeneres' no, show be by like, next his week. His name is so on and so forth. He is this old, and girls stay away from this. Dude. Right. Exactly. I can't you will be on Ellen next this. week. We agreed I on something, you. Mo. No. <laughs> How can you not participate in this, uh, Denise? This is great. <laughs> but it's bad. It's necessary. Just leave him. No, you can't because he's and then we'll gone. scare him. He's banging other chicks on tape right now. Hold on, here's what you do. God damn it! No, I got it. Fuck this, man. <laughs> send us the videos right now. All the videos that he sent you. Do you have send it? it to Did me you right save now. it? Why do you? No, I already deleted it. Why would you do something stupid like that? Ask him like to that? send you more. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, ask him to send you I don't more want tapes. To save it. We'll send Bro, it to okay, Mo. Okay, then fine. Send get more tapes. Send it to us. I promise you, we will fix this. I hope I put in. Send it. <laughs> Pia, you're 18 years old. Okay, you're half my age. Exactly. I am oh telling you, that's a God. fucking order. I need you to send me these things, and we're gonna fuck this guy up. This guy has no place in my world, and I don't want him sharing the same Our space world. with my world and my <laughs> children and my family. I don't want him around. We need to put a stop to this right away. Especially, but, he's really getting into his prime douchebag years now. He's 21. He's going to be re- like, if he's a fucking dick right now, just imagine what he's going to be like at 24 and 25. So we need to put a stop to this right now. Okay. He so, cannot continue to behave that way. After all that, after everything that, you know, we let Mo get all excited about that you might do, I just wanted you to know, like, it all starts with you, though. You know that, right? You're never a victim. People will try and push you, but it's up to you if you want to fall down or get moved by it. So basically what I'm trying to say is 
dinauso ang martyr ngayon, dinauso ang biktima ngayon, if you allow people to do things Usong to you... Usong ngayon, revenge. <laughs> in Mo's world, in my right. world, being brave and not letting people push you around is the way to go. If, you know, if people try and get at you and they don't succeed, then it's not going to happen again. But if you let people do that to you, then of course they're going to keep doing it again. So nasa If you take a poll... If you take a poll on how we're supposed to treat this person, ninety nine. I didn't. I didn't one, say. I didn't say we were going to do it win. my way or your way. I was saying after what we do, what okay. you want. I think that right. she has to do some soul searching of her own. That's what I'm saying. Okay, fair enough. We can fair still enough. do the revenge but stuff that you want, but thank basically, you. Oh, she thank has you. a lot song? of you know soul soul searching to do because she has to see that you know. Not all things happen to you like in the telenovelas, like you know, in ape or sinasaktan, yung yung yung. Nasasayo rin yun eh. Yeah, so, but we have to understand she's you, 18. Yeah, you know, exactly. She's That's why I'm telling her now because she is 18. In right, the future, it's going to happen guy. over and over and it's, over it's, again. It's really cool that she was 17 and this guy's 21 and, you know, it's, you know yeah, she stays because. I'm giving her the advice now make, that other people it, might not give her. You it know? makes her feel hot, you know, and all of this shit. <laughs> but, but listen, Pia, we got to address this. This guy has to go down and he's got to crash really hard. So if I were you, send me some of those tapes. Tell him to resend it to you. Send it to us. I'll get my staff to give you the info. And we got to address this stuff. And, and I really believe that it's public humiliation is the way to go because that's the only thing that's going to stop this guy to hit before he hits his douchebag prime. I don't normally support fun at other people's expense in a bad way, but... But this one you will sign up for. Maybe like Thank 5% you, of me I will. But what's more important to me is if you remember what I said, that after you do all this fun stuff, yeah, it's good for you. You'll feel better you, a little bit and you might get all that anger out, but you see mo pa rin yung sarili mo, huh? 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 Yeah. How many yeah. times can I say? Huh? 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 Because really, all right. it all starts with you. Okay? Huh? All right, Pia. Huh? Let's let's work on this. I'm serious. We got a plan going. I, I want a re. Oh boy, God, I wish I was there, sitting next to you right now. I will concoct <laughs> this fucking great elaborate. I just feel bad we're so far from each other. Let's get those tapes going. Hey, but technology. And then we're gonna, as soon as we get those tapes, I'll 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 dialogue with you via email. And maybe we can Skype about what the next step is going to be. But we re we really need to work on this. And I am on your side. And I'm serious. I'm not doing this for the show. We we got to get on the same page. We got we to make this fucker pay. All right? Please Thanks. don't be, you know, a victim anymore. All right. Have a good night. Bye-bye, dear. Night. We got to go. Don't forget the videos. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. How many hits on YouTube are we talking about here? When you say something like, Hi, my name is Pia. I'm 18. My but boyfriend is this, this, she and this, and this. has to do it the right way. Like, the video has to have him in the back. That's how I see it. Like, he has to be Oh, absolutely. No, no, no. Because you already know he likes sex tapes. Yeah. So he's going to say super but go on this. Yeah. she has to do it really good. Unless she has somebody hiding in the closet. Like. Oh, definitely. Yes. I, I'm, 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 I'm all over that. It could Hell be a yeah. fail if she doesn't do it. Just right. you do this, uh, babe. Okay, I'm I've, I've thinking about it. I'm 18. I'm an adult. I think I want to get. Okay, I'm gonna give you my virginity, but I want to. I just want to tape because I want to make sure I have it. You know, like a copy of it forever. You know, like it's my virginity. No, because I know you're into that thing. thing, and I've been watching. Yeah, it and and I, now I'm yeah, into I know it you're blah, into blah, it, blah, 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 yes. and you know, I, I want to be into it too. I want to be. I want a copy of my first time because how many people <laughs> can actually say they have a tape of their first time that they have sex, and I want that. And then he's like, "Oh yeah, that's she a great idea." She might not idea. be as smooth as you. She's 18. I know, but see, that's why we got to train her. That's why we need to follow <laughs> up with her before this happens. <laughs> Okay. Me, you, you Saul. <laughs> Saul's going to be inside the, the closet videotaping the entire thing. You know how it works. Come on now. He's going to be like, I, I'm looking in the closet. There seems to be some sort of giant in there. No, 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 nothing. <laughs> anyway. How tall is Saul? He, he's what, like 5'10"? Like well, how tall no, is he? No, he's 6'2". Oh, excuse me, Saul. Sorry. I was talking about your, your six thighs. One. <laughs> My what? No, his thighs. Oh, okay. Saul's thighs. Um, let's go to Tammy, who is in Chicago, United States of America. Hi, Tammy. Twenty years, twenty years old in uh, in Chicago on line five. Hi, Hi, Tammy. What's up, baby? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, we can, can you hear, hear you us. Yeah. Great. Hi, Denise. Right. Congrats on your engagement, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to Mo. He's really happy okay. for me. <laughs> How can we help uh, you? Here's here's my question. Okay. Um, so I'm twenty years old. Um, I'm currently a med student here in Chicago, um, nice. and I seem to encounter 
a lot of guys who always, like, they first they'll start off as my friend, and then somewhere down the line they'll get the idea that I like them, and they ask me out. And it's kind of getting obnoxious, because I don't understand where, like, this is coming from, and they just end up asking me out, and then in the end I feel so bad, because, like, I end up, like, breaking their hearts or something. Okay. You got to think like a dude. Wow. They're, yeah. If well, you, in, you, in your perception, they're your friends. So them, they're trying to win you. Yeah. It, it all depends, though, on are you attractive? I mean, let's just be realistic. If it's happening okay. all the time, you must be attractive. Um, right? I, I, I guess, that. like, you can say that I'm attractive in terms of my face. But yeah. in terms of, like, physically, I'm I'm... A little bit more on the chubbier side, and well, but, but you're tr- you're attractive, okay. And and here's the thing: when you're attractive, you have to kind of understand. And and Denise, you know this, being incredibly attractive, that guys just hit on hot chicks all the time. I mean, it's left and right. People, you think you're friends. Next thing you know, they're trying to make out with you. I mean, it really is a part of it. And but I'm it, semi-li disabled. So what semi what disabled does that have mean? To do with it? Yeah, give me the specific. Uh, I have pro I have problems like walking. It's it's not like I can walk, but it's like it's like um, polio. It's no, no, not that bad. Okay, but, like what? Like I have cerebral palsy. I was so, that was my next one. That <laughs> is, doesn't is it CP? make you less hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, but I'm not really letting a- it stop me. So. Uh-huh. Well, the thing is, obviously, you're a med student. I mean, if you had se- severe SCP, you, you would be then, you know, a little bit compromised in in med school, likely. But you're fine. I mean, with a slight CP, you're fine. Um, still, again, not. I mean, it, let's be realistic. It could be a hindrance for guys to not hit on you if you have cerebral palsy. But but in your case, if you're saying that they are still hitting on you, then you That's know maybe thing. it is very, very mild. And yeah, again, it's a, it's a good thing. They they're they're seeing past the disability and they want to date you. Mm-hmm. Um, let me ask you this: Are you spending a lot of time with these with guys? Them? Like, yeah, sometimes maybe it's not you're just them the, trying yeah, to. Maybe yeah, maybe them maybe on they, a little bit. Not, not, not meeting really on is kind of strong, but you know, guys. You have, wait, hold on. Here's the thing: you have to know that when a Guy and a girl start off as friends and spend a considerable amount of time. The chances of one of them having feelings mm. for the other are pretty mm-hmm. good. It's just have natural. you watched When Harry Met Sally? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, no, she's twenty. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, yeah. She okay, said she fine. did. Why? I'm, I'm twenty five. Fair enough, but, but you get my point, Denise, right? Like, it's very mm-hmm. hard to have a yeah. just really good guy friend without I mean, one person growing liking up, the other. Like, I was a boyish. Girl, you know, and I all my I w- I couldn't hang with the girls that much because they thought I was weird. I was boyish, and I didn't like to talk about makeup and gush about boys. And I and they were catty. And I thought hanging out with guys was much easier because we would talk about sports. We were just cool. There was no drama there. And then all of a sudden, it became like, oh, Denise is a flirt. Denise is so maarte and malende. Or that's, like that's my situation. Like in terms of like my close guy friends, mm-hmm. but like. And when then the I guys started. would make drama that, you know, were leading them on and that stuff. But wait, let me, let me ask this girl. Have you had a boyfriend before, Tammy? Actually, actually um, I called a couple months back. And um, I, had a, uh, I had a guy friend who was, I guess my, yeah, we were Dating. official for, for six months. And then we broke up in, like, May. So, yeah. Okay. That was your well, first boyfriend. The, the, no, the reason why I'm asking, boyfriend. See, the reason why I'm asking is like, you know, because these guys are really good friends of yours. And so far, it, what, what's happening, it's their side that the romance is kind of kicking in, the blossoming. On your side, <laughs> it's not. But, you know, if you give it a chance, one of them might also be, uh, you know, worthwhile. But I, think... you, I don't want to force I don't want to force you to date anybody that you don't want to date, obviously. It but took... at least be... Be realistic that if you're going to have a lot of guy friends, which seems the case, and it seems the case with Denise here, if you're going to have a lot of Back guy then. friends, please please don't be shocked when one of them has feelings for you. 
I, mean, I think it, it's it, also up to you. It's natural. You know, like it took me a while to figure out because I was so innocent back then. I was so young. Like I didn't understand about, you know, liking boys at that time. I was a boy. I mean, I was rough and tough and in sports and everything. And I didn't have malice. But sometimes, you know, the other people, you know, look at how you act differently. So it's also up to you. You also have, kind of have to dial it down a little bit. Don't be as friendly as you want to be. Don't be too... Um, lovey not lovey dovey but too close because uh-huh. sometimes they misinterpret that and that's when they fall and they think that you're falling too because they got love goggles on and they think that everything that you're doing is oh my god she called me first oh my god she texted me oh my god you know what i mean like it's the little yeah, things that see, we do that mean denise, nothing to us mean a lot to them so. i agree denise but the thing is it doesn't help that you're really attractive like you, that's why she has to be I more careful go back no, but I always go back to this attractive thing because you have to understand that if I had a friend who was a girl, but she was a dude like you were, who was getting into sports, and, but she was kick-ass pangit, we are not going to, you know, we're That's not going to like do think. some moves on her. You are who you are. You are very, very beautiful. And the fact that you're into shit that we're into makes you even more beautiful. So, so Tammy, if you're attractive, and you said you are to an extent, you become more attractive the more you interact with us with things that we like and the more that you buddy us. You have to know that it's eventually going to happen. Yeah, so you got to be careful. That was my point. A ton of them are going to like you in that capacity. Mm-hmm. So the, what's the solution to your problem is maybe you need to dial it down. Yeah, maybe you need to just That's exactly what I said, Mo. Or, right, right, right. You're no, stealing that, my answer. <laughs> no, I was going to credit you that. I, oh, you're going to dial it like okay. Denise said. Or this is what I'm saying. Accept it. It is what it is. And are they okay. still your friends afterwards? No, because they're all bitter and guys take longer to heal Wait, than girls. Well, for you, because you're hot. But are they, are they your friends after you turn them down, Tammy? Hopefully. They become very awkward. Yeah, give them yeah, a few okay. months. Give them Here's a year and they'll be do. back to normal. I would turn them down, but leave the door open for a possibilities. I mean, unlimited possibilities. If some, if some guy comes up to you and says, hey, listen, I really like you. And I'm like, oh, you know, listen, right now, you know how med school is. Med school is all about studying. You know how much time it takes. That even if you juggle a relationship, your grades will suffer. And I'm not in the whole suffering of the grades right now. So I'm really like, flattered. I'm not looking I, into anything Yeah, right I now. love spending time with you. I love spending time with you. I'm really flattered. No, I would don't like say to spend I love time spending time with you. Just say I think it's well, okay, cool. I like spending time with you. You're really cool you and all that stuff hanging out. And I really Dial want us down. to hang out regularly. But you know how relationships, we can't do this right when we're in med school. It's don't impossible. say regularly. <laughs> Dude, Just say whatever. Me, My thing is if you, if you don't want them to, to distance themselves, you kind of have to leave the door open. That, hey, listen, this is the reason why we can't do this is because of these things. But I really enjoy having you around. I really enjoy all of this stuff, the friendship and whatever. Please don't feel awkward. It's not that. It's not that there's no chance. It's just it's not a good idea because yeah, and expect of where them to be right distant for a while because guys and their ego and all that stuff. But after a few months, if they really want to be friends with you, you know, you guys will hang out because, again. Listen, med school is such a great excuse. It's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, because you, because it's brutal, you can use it as, as an excuse for everything. It's like you you cannot take a shower for a week, right? And people are like, "Tang ina tami ang baho mo." Med school, man. What do you want? What do you want to do? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing over there working at Best Buy? You know how fucking hard this is. You know, you you could use it as an excuse and use it can I use generously use? In, in these moments. Think. Artista, man. I don't sleep for thirty seven hours. <laughs> That's right. No, but you know, that's what I'm saying. All right? All right, Tammy? Okay. Do it. Thank so you're not breaking hearts. Yeah, you're not you got losing this. friendships. You're just awesome. You're, you're, you're kind of, yes, leading them on to some sort of hope. Just dial it but down. at the same time, yeah, but at the same time, you know, it's true. It's I not like you're doing anything right wrong. You just got to dial it down. So right, I should baby? just be less of a dude. No, just no, no, no. Be See, you. I, I, don't, I don't agree with Denise in that point. But of dialing don't it down. be less of yeah. a dude, but don't be too. Maarte? Available or like my No, it's being. not even Maarte. It, you know what Manam it is? is you know, it's a little nudges, Yeah, maybe. Yeah, little don't, hugs, don't them, little, oh, yeah, don't touch them. Yeah, don't touch them. Don't text them good night. If yeah. they text you good night, like, hey, don't up? text back. Just yeah. just text in the morning. Oh, I just saw your message. Sorry about that. Hey, yeah. have a good day. You know, don't be too it, available. 
I barely have time to check my phone. So exactly. You that's see? Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right. Then use med school as an excuse. Thanks for the call, love. We appreciate it so Thank much. Thank you. Bye. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah, and she sounds good for someone who has CP. You'll you'll generally hear it in their voice, you know, um, like you know, with a, with a, with a kind of a slurring uh, style of speaking. She sounds fine mm -hmm. for for cerebral palsy. I think she's it was cool. cerebral palsy day like a couple weeks back, like World Cerebral Palsy Day. Uh, if you don't know what that is, if you watch Breaking Bad, you know Walter White's son. That's cerebral palsy. I haven't Just seen Breaking Bad. Yeah, nah, fantastic show. I know, Fucking I heard. Fantastic. And uh, his son, his only son on the show. Has, I'm on uh, Scandal, CP. though. I'm all You're up on scandal? scandal. You that, have a Scandal? No. No, I don't have a Scandal. I mean, what's, the what's series, scandal? scandal. Oh, oh, okay. And when is Game of Thrones coming back on? Uh, April? What am I saying? Something like that. Bro, you gotta watch Homeland, love. Fucking I heard about yeah. Homeland. I'll tell you. Oh, my goodness. Please, fuck Scandal. Here's what you need. <laughs> Homeland? Oh, Finally, you can catch up with Breaking Bad. Breaking Greatest Bad. show of all time is Dexter of all Dexter, time. Greatest ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck you. Uh, House of Cards is good. House of Cards, okay. That's excellent. So, of course, Thrones. Um, Downton Abbey. Oh, solid. Seriously? Solid. Seriously? Fucking great. I didn't figure you for... Oh, what are you talking about? I'm listening to this shit? Where's I my song? Well, I haven't watched it, so... Yeah, that's a quota line right there. What All is this? And by the way, Lesbo Ange, can you please get over here, please? How do you not know that I don't listen to quota line? I've been fucking screaming quota line here for, uh, since last week. Pico, yep. what, what the fuck, man? Back me up here. Yeah, I know. Since a since? few weeks ago. Since ever. Yeah, you told me about it. It was awesome. Love it. Oh, because he turns okay, down yeah. the monitor. Listen, so yeah, quota yeah. line, all I want, fucking lesbian. Now move. <laughs> She said, F you. Jeez. Fuck you. Oh, really? Yeah? Well, eat a bag of dicks. Huh? Oh, my God. Right? Thank you. All right. Which you don't ever do. Which you would hate because you're, of not, you're not of that sexual persuasion. Um, let's go to a commercial break. And when we come back, we got some more. We got a lot of uh, Callers? broad calls. We have yeah. Abu Dhabi lined up. Nice. We have Dubai also as well tonight. Nice. Denise Laurel is here. You can follow her on Twitter. It's at D underscore Laurel. Just the cutest. She has the cutest son ever. Guys, fucking. I haven't been tweeting handsome. a lot lately. I'll make up for it. Charming. You have. Well, not tweeting, but Instagramming. And I love seeing your kid run around and do goofy shit. It's the best. Let's take a break. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malay na rin ang narating namin, maraming na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. With a, with a game Chubby Bunny, but um, Ch what's like? Have you played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth. You say Chubby Bunny, and you keep putting it in your mouth, and you okay. say Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever okay. can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you, okay, gonna va? Okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, na okay, na. Okay. Okay. Press. Okay. Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Okay, I'll go two at a time. Okay, can I back? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, can I back? Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, can I back? I don't know, I don't know. Okay. No, that's just Yeah. <laughs> 
what you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought <laughs> it was good. <laughs> <laughs> you made it up. I mean, this time of year, right? Elections. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> Children do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not we're able to, to verify all of these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically, <laughs> now number two, upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay. Cabin lights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lock all doors of vehicles. During inspection, since lock, oh, lock. They might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking. But that's doors. the thing. Okay. This is where they get you, and this is actually. <laughs> I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yeah. this is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harass. Drugs are planted. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and other things, stories. you know. Um, mm. A Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh, yes, no. I've heard of that, you know. And there's no defense for that. Just there's really no defense. Yeah, it's like, it's but Your Honor, we found this. I well, throw, throw the book at him. The then CD after as that well. you, have to, you know, then after that you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch James Lord. Deacon and the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, 7:30 to 8:30, only here on the factory. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears off. Tears off. Anyway, jaundice does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so jaundice, and I'm now happy to present to you Carlo. Look at this, the third of it. Gusto mo ng snacks? Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos? Ang puti. Ay, tapos. Dito ba? Pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Concealer. Ayan na. Para sa show mo, ha? O. Aray ko. Ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? Zora. Pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing? Pwede pa itong pang nose line? Ito ki. May caution. Ah, caution! Caution! Ah! When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. Abura ina, abura ina siya. Oh my God! Damn! Sorry ma. Tuto talaga. Pede bago yan, don't worry. Buti ako sa mata lang, hindi naman nagkakap niyo. But dapat pala caution mo na yung pinasa na ito. Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar, and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like, or all the shows you like, and once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it, you're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. Girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program here, Tuesday night, Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Hey, Globe Telecom signs, uh, signed a deal with uh, retailers to curb sales of uh, illegal repeaters. Now, are you experiencing poor drop calls, garbled lines, or weak signal? 
These might be caused by illegal signal boosters that interfere with the network coverage. So it is Globe forged agreements with major retailers to support the campaign against the use of the use of illegal repeaters to avoid signal interference. Globe also appeals to the public to be vigilant and to report suspected cases of illegal repeaters. Thank you, Globe, for that. Um, on the show tonight, the wonderful Denise Laurel, who we will try to persuade attempt to manipulate her to come here every Tuesday. <laughs> I want to. Yeah, I think so. you do a really good job. Mm. And, and it, it's a nice little, uh, what do you call this, uh, a different take at people's problems from what I obviously bring. Like, I'm a, I'm a lot more aggressive, violent, you're the complete combative. opposite of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're, you're, you know, again, you're, you're a nice person. But let, let's see. Hey, enough about your advice-giving uh, capabilities. What about your acting capabilities, your singing capabilities, shit like that? What are you involved in right now? Um, Throw a little uh, plug I'm working, there, right? Oh, my gosh. It's my first time to play a mommy role. So I feel hella old, even when I'm not. I guess I've absorbed my character so much that even when I'm off air, I feel old. But it's now, fun. What <laughs> I'm doing Annalisa right now. Um, and obviously on ABS. Yeah, and what I love is like we've gelled as a family. Like even Offset, it's crazy. We're funny. Like you know, we're always together, and we work long hours, and it's fun. So um, I'm not surprised that people are really like accepting the show, and they really you know watch it every now, day. Now when is it on? It's on um, early prime time before TV Patrol. That's around 5:30 in the afternoon. Sure. But in other countries, I think it shows at 1.30 p.m. So, gotcha. yeah, gotcha. hope they watch that. And I'm shooting a movie, which will be coming out next year. Horror, again, it's called Third Eye. Yep. And do you die in the movie? Yes. Oh, wait, and no, I no, hope no, no, it's no. an can, awesome death. Can we? Oh, okay, good. Yeah. No, wait, wait, we just gave it. We spoiler alerted. it. Well, whatever. That's no, it's right fine. Yeah, I everybody, mean. Everybody dies in horror. Yeah, everybody dies. Yeah, yeah, that's how you die. It's important. That, that's true. That's right. Okay. All right. So Denise Laurel, follow her on Twitter, at Denise underscore Laurel. Check out Annalisa every day before TV Patrol. Yes, Good please. group of people, as she said. Uh, and then the horror film where she dies in. Uh, <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's speak to a couple more horror film calls here. Uh, what do you want to go with? Let's go with Anne, a 21-year-old, or should we go with the cell phone where we have – who do we got on cell phone? Chloe? Let's yep. go to Chloe. Uh, on the cell phone first. Chloe, you're 27 in Manila. Welcome to the program. Denise Laurel here. What's up? Yes, hi. <laughs> hi. What's How up? You? How, How you doing? You? Hello? Chloe? Hello? Yes. Morse code? Whatever the back of- <laughs> How can we help you? <laughs> ma, 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 Morse. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my first time to be on the radio. So. Oh, that's cool. Sure. Okay, or well, thanks podcast. for being here. <laughs> Yeah, no worries. So what's up? Your boyfriend, asshole. Yeah, go. Let's go. What's up? Yeah, uh, ex-boyfriend. Oh, ex-boyfriend? Good. Why is That's he still alive? I don't know he, he has this uh, weird attitude where he keeps on bad-mouthing people. Uh-huh. Um, you and I have That happened first. <laughs> um, when we were together, he keeps on telling stories about his ex. Girlfriend. Oh, that's dangerous. Even, yeah, uh, pers- even personal uh, things like. <gasps> oh, oh my. Right. she just like I was getting into it. See, I was getting yeah. into it, and see? then. See, Denise, there is no God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, don't say that. Yeah, but how, do you, how do you come up with a great and then right at just coincidentally right at the we'll perfect part? It's really okay. personal it's stuff oh, like. Techno- oh, she's back. Then, dee, dee, dee. She's back. Right, see, okay. there's a God. Uh, Chloe. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay, continue. Personal stuff like what? <laughs> um, he he told me that his ex girlfriend had an abortion. His ex girlfriend oh. was a nympho, stuff like oh. that. Oh. And I told him, "Are you talking when about me?" Telling me those things, I yeah. I, know, I said too much information. I sh- I shouldn't be told those. Don't, you don't like it. This, he, it's inappropriate. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm okay. Also, so what are you worried that okay. he's doing the same thing about you now because yes, you're yes, his ex? It. Okay. All right. And and have so, you heard anything? Like, is there rumors going around that he's saying like? Stuff about you? Him. Well, none so far. What happened uh, now was this girl. She or this girl. He was bad mouthing. Um. 
he went back to her. They're together mm. again. So. Oh. I'm wondering why do guys do that? Why do they keep on bad mouthing girls and then they will. Well, you know, here here's the rule of thumb for guys and bad mouthing girls. I think the guys that I think the more they bad mouth, the more the more they want to sleep with that girl. Like you ever catch you ever Surprise. catch the guys who are cheating on their girlfriend? It's a, it's always the girl that he talks small shit about that he's cheating on, right? It's a weird thing that guys do sometimes. It's like, called like, being uh, childish. <laughs> It's weird. Like, okay, for example, uh, Denise, if, if your boyfriend ever starts talking smack about some girl, the first thing I would think is he's probably boning her. You know, really. No, not, not your current boyfriend. I'm just talking about, like, generally. It, it, it has a weird way of working out that way. I think it's so you – they try to distance you. They try to distance you from ever thinking that that girl would be a possibility so they can hide that, to hide that feeling they have for that girl. By bad mouth. Is that what you do, Mo? No, well, I'm trying to think if I have done. I might have done it a couple times, to be honest. And I see a lot of guys do this. I see a lot of like girls who would come up to me and say, my boyfriend cheated on me. I'm like, on, but who was the other girl? It's this girl that he always like says bad things about that was the shock. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's generally it. They want to distance the idea of you, of them getting caught or ever having that hint of, You'll ever, you know, you'll ever have that feeling that they like the girl by talking shit. So anyway, anyway, back to your thing. What are you worried about now? You're worried that he's telling this girl that he went back to bad shit about you? I think, and I hope, mm, I hope he won't. So, okay, so, so I'm, so I'm thinking if, unahan ko na ba siya? Should I blackmail him? Or no, no. Are you yes. hiding something? Do you have anything to hide? I mean... No, she's saying go to the girl and say, hey, listen, I just want you to know that your boyfriend told me you had an abortion and that you're this and that your vagina stinks. <laughs> oh, what and all for, of these other though? Things. I mean, what are you afraid of? I mean, if he has anything to no, say no, that just... isn't truth, you shouldn't be afraid. Yeah, It'll I mean, just make him look like a fool. Something. It'll just make him look like a bitter, bitter person who didn't get what he wanted with you, so he's immature and bad-mouthing you. People aren't going to I don't agree that. with that. But I don't agree with that, but but I'll, I'll tell you why a little bit later. I want to ask you, is there something that you're worried that he's going to say? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Mm, well, yes. There okay. is. Like what? That's why. Why tell um, us? This on, tell ex-girlfriend of him, um, he, um, they were, they're both my um, office mates, so I'm worried this ex-girlfriend was bullying me before. Bullying work, you before so. at work? When she knew okay. that I'm the new girlfriend. <laughs> oh, and then, yeah. So they both hate so you. When, yeah. <laughs> and when, and and now I'm really shocked they are together again. Yeah. Before he uh, kept okay, on. What do you What mouthing. do you have in mind in terms of blackmailing him? <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you, What did that. you think? Yeah. What kind of What kind of bullets do you have here? Um, but when. I meet her at the office. He, she, she gives me dagger looks, something like that. Know, yeah, but, but so what do you plan? Blackmail? Like, what, what do you think? How are you gonna hurt this guy? That's what I'm, at, that's what I'm asking. Shall I let him oh. go, or should I well, blackmail him? Or what are you gonna use okay. to blackmail him? Ani yung pang blackmail? Yeah, ani bala. Well, what do you have? Like, what well, are you gonna tell the girl <laughs> that he said he told you about the abortion? Some something like that, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I think Denise. it's inappropriate, but it's like. Do they still pick on you at work? She gives her dagger Sorry. looks. That's it. Yeah, they're like knives in her eyes. And yeah. she keeps on spreading cheese sneaks about. But she spread about you. That, um, for example, uh, sabi niya ina away ko sa office, something like that. I deleted okay. her in my Facebook. All right. Let's, let's get to it. Denise, how say you? Out of it. I say. I want to ask you a question, Denise. Okay. I know what you're going to say. So before I cut you off, and I am already cutting yeah, you I off. Know, yeah, yeah. When do you fight fire with fire, Denise, in your life? Ever? Because I feel like you're being a doormat sometimes. You know, Me? A not, doormat? Seriously? Yeah. Well, hold no. on. Well, you and I have been friends, and you have, I, and I have... Uh, Shared a lot of like, oh, this person's fucking around with me. This person's this to me, and you know, I, I've always kind of taken, like, like, while yes, you're 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 steadfast and you're confident and you're this and you're that. 
you're also sometimes a doormat with people. You, you're, and my definition of doormat is you let them get away with it. Yeah, it's going to come back to them anyway. Yeah, see, so you believe in that nonsense, that karma no, shit. I mean, That's not like, true. You got to put it in your own hands sometimes. It doesn't have to be karma. They're going to have their day in judgment anyway. You know, God okay, so when do you ever fight fire with fire? When it comes to my son or my family or if it's, you know, I can fight back without being horrible. You can address <laughs> things. I'm not kind like you that, that, you know, you go get revenge and whatever. I'm more straight to the point. I'll with talk pride. to the person and be like, hey, what the hell is your problem? This is where I'm coming from. That's where you're coming from. We disagree. So... That's how it works. How are we going to work around this? I'm more of like, this is a problem. Let's fix it. More than, ooh, I'm going to answer this person with a plan that's going to like ruin well, them. Well, it doesn't have to ruin anybody all the time. I, like, for example, my revenge plan for the other guy with the, with the girl with the pressuring, that's because he's an incredible douchebag. It needs mm -hmm. to be handled mm -hmm. humiliation style. Mm -hmm. I, with this girl, I think you just kind of, if she's giving you the dagger eyes, I think one confrontation should just yeah, really do it. Yeah, I was just thinking it. like, just say, you know? hey, this is what's up. <laughs> You're the yeah. one. Why are you mad at me? I'm not doing shit. You should talk to that guy. He's the one saying. Just say, he's listen, got I'm I'm over with your boyfriend. Blah, 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 you don't have yeah. to. Yeah, listen. You, I don't you need and I, we this work together. negativity in my life. I'm not doing anything to you. So leave right. me out of it. Nothing is gonna. Nothing he says is gonna make him me go back to him. Yeah. I wanted to be that clear. Number two. Uh, you know, bored, I didn't take him away up. from you. I didn't take him away from you. He didn't break up with you. I didn't mean we weren't cheating because she might feel like I have a feeling. Do we know that for sure? Did you did you cheat on uh, her? Did you and your boy ex boyfriend cheat on the other girl? No. Okay. Well, okay. There you go. Yeah, maybe she feels that way. So you go. Listen, I didn't cheat. We didn't cheat on you. He broke up with you, dated me, and he's back with you. I have no intention of ruining anything. I don't think you need. And by the way, he told me you had an abortion and that your vagina smells. And. Uh, <laughs> And maybe and you should think about being mad at him instead of me. Yeah, and maybe you should give the dagger eyes to him for all of these things that he spreads about mm -hmm. you. But as for mm -hmm. me, I have nothing now against you. Feel you. Silly, I have, huh? Yeah, I, I don't have. Look? Yeah, I don't. I don't have anything wrong with you. I completely am okay. I'm not heartbroken. I don't miss him. You can, you know, don't you, Godspeed you? to no. the both of you. You know, and, and and then go on with your way. But at least you made her aware so that. I, uh, confront him. No, don't Confront have her. anything to do with him. Talk to her and be yeah, a be a grown woman about it. That way she feels even more silly acting like a but child. But tell her about the stuff that he, he told said, you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. By the way, I just want you to know. <laughs> yeah. He says this. You're abortionist. Just say that. Yeah. You kill babies. <laughs> you can say that. Aww. Okay. That's true, though. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the, thanks for the uh, call, dear, and good luck to you. See, Denise and I are on the same page on this Yeah, one. that's right. twice already. What's up for the world? All right. Thanks Thank for the call, you. babe. Appreciate it. Bye. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Let's go to Anne, 21. Anne, you are Quezon City. What's up? Line five? Line no, five. Anne. No gangbang Anne? What happened to her? Uh, she dropped the call. Because you didn't remember who she was. It's your fault. Uh, somebody here is asking from Abu Dhabi. Can you get Roka in Abu Dhabi? Uh, now, Denise, how, how is this working here? Somebody in Abu Dhabi is asking, how did you go through your marriage separation and annulment process? When the fuck were you married? Me? Yeah. I was never married. This is my first time to be engaged. Yeah, the Roka here Maybe she's is, asking you. It says here, how did Denise get an annulment? <laughs> That's what it says right here. Uh, we should I... talk to me. You mean, maybe she assumed that you got married. You know, you, you have your incredibly handsome son she probably thought maybe you got married i don't well, know well should we still answer i don't know what do you think yeah I can you give advice eh. on that because i can't because yeah I probably shit. yeah no i mean i have never been a, you know an older or anything like that but you know it's just more common sense stuff well let me know who do we have is it going to be Anne or is it going to be roca if uh, not that's EJ funny though six. how did denise get yeah uh, you know it, it's probably assumed yeah. That, you know, from especially, you know, certain people, uh, different mm -hmm. countries, stuff like that. Uh, EJ19, Makati, line six, what's up? Yes, yes. Hello. Hi, EJ, what's up? What do you up? got, brother? Hello, yes. Hey, yes, go. Um, you got to answer me. Hello, hi. Um, hi. Hi. What's your problem? Um, come on, I'm going to show you. i then, I know, nagkaroon na misunderstanding kasi nga nagka-election. 
Then, mm-hmm. ano, tapos na, nakasabayan pa ng enrollment. So, naging medyo busy lang. Then, then biglang, ayun nga, biglang nag, ano nawala na? siya. Nag-away, nag-away yata kayo nag, dahil nag-a-mis- busy. Nag-understanding din po oh, sa time. Sa time sa ano, ayun nga. Tapos biglang, pinapag-usapan na rin namin yung sa next time. Kasi mag-busy siya. Um, busy rin ako so kasi grad- siya graduating ako, third year na ako. Okay, let me piece then, this yun. together. Um, you have a girlfriend? Boyfriend. Boyfriend. That's a gay voice. Um, I okay. Hear it. Yeah. You have a boyfriend yeah. and the both of you were busy because of election. He was probably involved in that. And then you had something. So um, one of you guys felt bad because there was no time for one another. And then you guys got into a fight. So now that you guys are going to get even more busy, you don't know what to do. Um, kasi ni ano na to? Tayo lang pa. Um, kasi po ngayon nagdumalik siya, nagparamdam ulit po siya. Just this night lang po. So nagbreak kayo? Nga, um, hindi walang closure talaga po. Di ba lina wala na lang siya? Then nagitext naman sa kanya. Then I'm asking kung meron ba meron pa rin ba? Then ayun po sa di naman siya nagreply. So kanina nagreply po siya. Sabi niya nga. Um, bum- ito na daw nga po siya bumalik na daw po siya sabi niya like sorry siya sa akin but then yun nga po hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin ko kung tatanggapin ko ba siya or not ignore no. him or not I'll let you handle this I have, I'm not even listening I'm so bored oh my uh, god you so, me. so so what's going on here we you have a boyfriend you guys are very busy you're 19 years old they fought this, how long how long have you been together EJ um about 4 months na po Okay. Mock if you're already months. having Second Okay, time. if you're already having these problems 4 months into the relationship where, you know, time management and 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 all of these issues, I suggest probably not the right time for you guys to be in a relationship. And 19 there's a lot of things going on at 19 in terms of aside from, you know, the election stuff which is an extracurricular thing, but you have school and these things are priorities. Um, if I were you, I would not get into a formal relationship. However, since you're a gay guy, there are millions of teenage gay boys out there your age that are willing to just have flings and stuff like that. I think those are the relationships that you need to, um, I guess, get involved in. You know, uh, casual, short time stuff. Any kind of, I mean, if you have all of these things going on in your life at 19, the last thing you want to throw on top of that is a committed, serious relationship. Um, flings, casual sex, if you want for you gay boys, sure. No. Enjoy. Do it. Um, but the long term stuff. Hindi mo talaga siya for sex talaga din yung ano. Yung ah, okay. so, yung for me. I mean, yes. Yun nga, we you know, we're dating pa lang talaga as in once pa lang at having like nagkaroon ng sexual intercourse then. Yeah. Ayun po. So, pinag-iisipan mo. Box kung... say. <laughs> mo, um, come on uh, here. No, but, but because I'm serious. Like, come on. If you already know, if you if you've been together four months and you have issues already of time management, and there are a lot of things going on, especially with school, and you got a new sem kicking in this November, that's a lot of stuff on your plate. The last thing you want to do is in a relationship. Because the thing is, if you told me you've been together for a year and a half and it's a serious, I'd be like, oh, okay, fine. But you guys have been together four months. Sabihin mo na lang kung babalik siya at hindi niya maintindihan na busy kayong dalawa. Yeah, both of you are not at the right time in your life to have a serious relationship. That's where flings come in, where you can have a few flings and stuff like that. Enjoy being wow. 19 and gay. You know, I mean, there's a lot of there are a lot of great gay guys your age or young who are not even thinking about fucking long-term relationships. But he thinks um, that he loves him. I know, yeah. but right now it's not you, the right it, time. Yeah, it's just there's two. Kung hindi niya intindihan na busy ka. I love these four-month relationships because you can cut them off right away. No problem. Sabihin mo lang na kung mag sa kung di niya maintindihan na busy ka at mag, mag di, mawawala na naman siya di siya magpaparamdam eh di wag na. Alright? Kaya nga po eh. Ayun nga. Kaya nga. Di bali parang nag-dog ako kasi. Ayun. Kausap See, here's how I show you. I'm looking at our clock and I find I see we don't have time and I'm going to cut this call off right away. You see you see how that works? You can just cut it off. 
four months, you can be nice about it. You can say, hey, listen, I really like you. We have, you know, we have great chemistry and it's a lot of fun and the experiences, but come on, you under, you know it and I know it. Right now, ang dami natin ginagawa. Wala na talagang oras. Pwede naman tayo maging kaibigan, pwede naman tayo maglumabas and all of that stuff, but to have a serious commitment cannot be done right now at this stage of our lives. Leave the door open okay. for a future reconciliation. Leave the door open for a lasting friendship. Leave the door open for casual dates and whatever. But in terms of a committed, structured, difficult relationship that you have to kind of juggle along with your very busy schedule, which is more important, by the way, school, elections. That means you're probably involved in city government or at least barangay affairs and stuff like that. That's great to be involved in those things at 19. That really beefs up your resume and your experience. And I don't want you to compromise that because you're going to go out with this guy. Especially if you guys only been together for four months. You can fucking cut that off. All right? God damn it. Thank you. Thank all right, you. all right. All right, get away. Oh, uh, that drained me. Why? I don't Just because they're so bored. <laughs> Sometimes when the calls are boring, it's so tiring. I got that, so I got that drained me. I was like, Ugh. It's also getting kind of late. How about we take a break and then maybe like two more calls and we're out of here? Yeah? Yeah. Is that cool with you? Yeah. Hey, uh, let, let me th- can I throw an Ask FM question out your way, uh, okay. Denise? Here's uh-huh. a question I got from Ask FM. Um, I think my tita was having an affair with my dead dad. Or my, my now my dead dad. Did oh. we do this yet on the show? Oh, my God. Nope. No, okay. So, I think my tita was having an affair with my now dead father. Mm-hmm. My sister and I have been suspecting, and we think it's true, the tita got pregnant years ago. She claimed that she was raped. However, the kid looks just like my dad. <laughs> what, what are they going to do? He's already dead. What do I do? I think that family is family. I mean, they might not never ever know if that's their brother or sister, but they should just love him never, uh, and honor you know, whatever memory they have of their dad left. And just forget all that negative doubt and stuff for now. Because there's nothing they can do about just, it anyway. How about just going to her toothbrush, grabbing a piece of hair. See what I mean? How head. you and I handle stuff. <laughs> no, 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 Yours always has to be like CSI shit. <laughs> Why don't you just yank a piece of hair, go to the, your, your local it's genetic so soap opera. doctor. But, it's, but it can be done. Yeah, so do You're it. So and school. then when they find out, what are they going to do? Hurt their it's mom. It's that whole knowing hurt is powerful. Their mom. Hurt, there's some hurt no, their mom. but there's he's already dead. She's gonna mourn his death and then feel hate him. Are you telling get me if at? your dad was cheating on your mom and you found out, you wouldn't tell your mom? He's dead. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> You're just gonna grab a people. piece of hair off her fucking head. If the it costs thirty thousand really bucks you. or something like that, if you've got that kind of wow. money. Head over to the gene genetic uh, code doctor, whatever the fuck they're called, and say, hey, listen, can you let me know if this is a sibling? It's supposed to be. For sure there's going to be some sort of genetic lining because it's my tita's kid. But yeah. can you, can, is there any way to find out if, uh, can they do that? if there's even more than that? I have no I, I, I think they can. I definitely know but that's going to show that they're related. Of the fathers too, right? But also, you don't know what kind of tita. Is it tita on the mom's? Oh, even though it will, it would show some yeah. sort of connection. Relation. Hmm. Uh, I would Google talk. That. Yeah, I would talk to a doctor and ask him, hey, listen, if I brought you a strand of hair from, and tell them the entire story and, and see what they say about whether the, they can find out if, uh, bring the toothbrush over or whatever, <laughs> whether, they, whether they can find out if it's uh, in fact a sibling or not. And, and there is solace in knowing. Denise. Yeah, but I wouldn't tell my mom, no. Nah. Yeah, you don't have to. I, you don't have to. You know. But it says, what if your mom passes away then? Which eventually will happen. Oh. It's you, your sister, and then maybe down the line, what, you, have, you have another sibling who you grew up with and you yeah. didn't know and you thought it was your cousin the whole time. Maybe you need to be together. Well, then, you know, if they're ready to hear that. I mean, it's going to be painful for a lot of people. And, of course, the truth is always the best thing. But down the line, yeah, I guess, if it is true, man, that, right. that sucks. He's already dead. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's tough sucks. shit. That sucks. 
Um, do you hate the tita? Do you go like like no. again? If it happened to you, do you go on? Why she cheated on your fucking mom, man? She's family. You just said it right in the beginning of the fucking answer. Family's family. Exactly. So so right? Wouldn't you want to know then that? See this. Here's why I would want to know. Why would you? Want okay. To know? First, I would like to know whether it's a sibling. Then I would like to confirm, in fact, that my tita fucking went behind my mom's back, slept with my father. So that now they I can don't fight? want that bitch near the house. So no, I just want to fucking not be nice to her anymore. <laughs> and then used used an excuse that she got like raped. rape, which is a very serious thing. So everybody sympathizes with her. Everybody's kind of babying her on oh and gosh. stuff okay, like that. When you say it like that, I wouldn't that want her to come near my family, whoreback. but I wouldn't tell my mom. That's right. Sure, sure. She's I get already that. in a lot of pain. I'll, yeah, yeah I, could, I, could, I could see that. I could, I could jump on that. But in terms of knowing that this girl has been fucking feeding, well, now this is all allegedly, but feeding off everyone else's sympathy and this Ugh. and that because she was raped, all all knowing in the back that she did not get raped and she in fact seduced You're or so whatever. Skinny. Maybe he did. <laughs> no, but I'm serious, right? Yeah. All of a sudden she comes. She goes from victim to fucking criminal, and that's an awful thing. So get that genetic shit done and really find out if it's possible. Talk to a doctor, see what goes on. It probably costs you thirty grand. Uh, let's go to Anne. You know what? Instead of the commercial break, let's just finish all the calls now, then take the break and we're out of here. So let's go to Anne, who's twenty-one, Quezon City. Hi, Anne. Hi, Anne. Hi, Mo. Hi. What's up, love? This here is Denise Laurel. She's awesome. Hi, Denise. <laughs> Hi, Anne. What do you got? <laughs> What's up? Okay, so because like break to me now, ex. Go like hello. Hello. Yeah, go yeah. continue. Go sorry, ahead. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, sorry. Like, break up in an echo like two weeks ago. Okay. That was uh-huh. the day after I met this guy. That was a week after uh, I had sex with him. Um, he, uh, he was a virgin, so. I mean, <laughs> you were a virgin or he was a virgin? I was the virgin. I don't believe you, but fair enough. Continue. Oh, whatever. I was a virgin nun, so he took my virginity, sure. right? That was last month. He Monday. took it or you gave it? I, I gave it. <laughs> she dropped it. Drop it like okay, it's fine. Hot. I dropped it. It was, she, it she was broke an act the screen. of revenge, uh, of rebellion, whatever. Right, fair enough. So okay. I gave you, it to you, him. You that was that, right? Yes. All right. So, okay. You, okay, whatever. You lost your virginity. Then, next. Right. So, so I know. So, you know, we text kami and... Um, okay sana. Kaso, kanina, he went, kasi kaninang morning, tenext ako nung ex ko, nagsend sa akin ng pictures nila nung girlfriend niya na bago. So, parang ako sobrang devastated ko, parang niyayabangan ako ng ex ko, nang ganun. Tapos, so, tenext ko siya, yung, yung, yung guy. Uh-huh. Tapos, he went here kanina, pero sabi niya sa akin, uh, nawala daw yung phone niya. Aha, uh-huh, bullshit. So parang, oh, yeah. so parang ako, ah talaga, nawala yung phone mo, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos mga 30 minutes after niya umalis, may nilike siya sa Facebook na ano, na, na page. Tapos nakalagay on mobile siya sa messenger. So ibig sabihin nun. Style bulok. Gago yun. Gago. Sa dad na love time, style bulok pare. Yeah, yeah. Diba? <laughs> so, sobra. So parang ako ngayon, ang sama-sama na ako gani niya. First of all, I want to confirm <laughs> kung... Alam mo yun, parang, okay, first of all, I want to confirm na hindi na nga na, wala na, di ba? Secondly, mo, revenge naman dyan, oh. no. Sige, ganito lang. See yun. what I mean? People go to you for revenge plans. <laughs> how how good do you feel about yourself right now? I love it, man. I love it. We should re- we should rename the fucking show. And do you uh, still but- care about this guy? Because it sounds like you do. Just like how oh, guys well, bad mouth girls that they like, girls always can't stop talking about guys that left them because they care about them. Okay, wait. I just want to yeah, make sure which guy is which because I'm getting confused here. And then as soon it's as I the figure guy out what the fuck is going she on, she broke up with two weeks ago. Sent her photos of him and his new girl. So this is not the guy you had sex with casually. No. This is your real no, boyfriend. No, 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 no. Ganito ex. Yung ex ko tenext ako kaninang morning. Nagsend sa akin ng pictures. So tenext ko yung kumuha ng virginity ko. Ah, si Fubu. So he went kanina, huh? Okay, so Mar- tenext mo si Fubu. Oh, okay. Actually, si Fubu ka, yung... mo, masakit. <laughs> ah, okay. So, ngayon nang nangyari oh lang ngayon na. Okay. Just minutes ago. Okay. So, that's why you're no, so jacked mga, up. Here. Mga hour na. So, you're not two hours. One hour. Okay. Okay, fair. That's the start of the show. Okay. So, number one, you can't get revenge on a guy. He's not your boyfriend. So, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to shut you down. 
This guy is a cat. Who do you want? Who do you want revenge on? You want revenge on the guy that you Both gave of your them, please? <laughs> Wait, well, why do you want revenge on the guy that you gave your virginity to again? Because, because he lied about the fucking niya, phone. I mean, yeah, na parang sa na walado yung phone niya. Tas biglang naglike ng page. Tas nakam on mobile sa messenger. You can't get revenge for so that. So why did he I'm lie sorry. again? I don't, I don't know, know why. Why you texted him and then hindi siya nagreply? I'll tell you why. Sabi niya na wala. He... Um, pumunta siya dito kanina. Oh. Tapos nung dumating siya, sabi niya na wala daw yung phone niya. So yun yung dahilan kung ba't siya pumunta dyan? You know why? And then, tinext ko na siya kanina. Time out. I know why he's lying about the phone. Since you've had sex with him. Yeah. Since you've had sex with him, how many times have you been texting him after that? Oh my gosh, yes. me. Oh, he texted you. Yeah, you. How many times have you been texting him since you've had sex? A lot. He's been texting That's, me a lot. No, he texts does, her a lot does or he you respond text you? him first? Nagre-respond lang ako sa mga messages niya. Kasi busy din ako mo. Oh, oh, then he has a girlfriend. Me. Yeah, it sounds like he's got a girlfriend. Because uh, it's either one or two things. He doesn't want to tell you uh, he said that he lost his phone because he doesn't want you to text him because he's with his girlfriend right. or that he, he doesn't want you to look at his phone because um, he has a girlfriend or two he's Perhaps. scared that because since he took your virginity that you're gonna be all up on him like a swim fan yes that's what that's more what I'm saying so uh, or it could be both I don't think he okay I don't think that he it's likely A and C I I don't think you can get vir- uh, virginity I think you, I don't think you can get revenge on him <laughs> Because he's not your boyfriend, and, you and if gave he lied it. to you about yeah, and if he lied to you about his phone, well, that's a white lie, and that's not that big of a deal. Uh, if it was your boyfriend and he lied about the phone and all of that stuff, then the, then that's different. Even then, I, revenge revenge is really sacred. You know, you can't just fucking throw it around like so. Which comes like to my line: it, it's of not a gift card. Nothing okay, good not, comes out of anger. So oh, it's beautiful. It's no. beautiful, but you can't. She gave up her virginity because, out of rebellion and anger, right? Which didn't okay. do her good because it just hit her back like a slap in the face, right? But exactly to do something out of anger again, revenge. How is that going to make her feel afterwards? Okay. And here's my issue with you, though, Anne, is the rebellion sex. I understand. Bravo, which is congratulations. Rebellion to whom? For the boyfriend, because the boyfriend changed. You know, pinalitcher kaagad and sending him so, pictures but of that the new girlfriend. On her what is an asshole? Because well, she gave it to somebody who's a douchebag. Well, okay. Does your boyfriend, does your ex boyfriend know this guy? They're friends. No. No. You know, listen. Yeah, did he find uh, out about revenge? it that you gave your virginity? Yeah. Did, did he, find he out sent that you me had... pictures, deba? Right? So, so you sent pictures also? Yeah. No, no, no. Because kanina out of the blue, nag-text lang siya. Kanina morning pa to mga 4 a.m. Sabi niya kamusta daw ako, ganyan ganyan. Sabi ko okay lang, may bago daw siyang girlfriend. Tapos sinend niya ako ng picture. So sabi ko, ah, okay, ganyan ganyan. Tapos parang ako, ah, okay, oh nga pala hindi na rin pala ako virgin. Parang ganoon. Parang ganoon. Wow, parang you guys are something. Else. That, was, that was almost how it went. Pero tapos ganoon, tapos parang sobrang devastated ko kasi ang pangit-pangit nung girl ni Mukha talaga ng true love. Tapos parang ako Okay, that's so the next. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I I think right now where you're at, Anne, is you're you're energetic, you're pumped up, but I think you're at the place where you should be, which is you told your ex boyfriend that you lost your that's virginity enough. to some yeah. guy. You could have said sobrang laki na or you could say things like that where sobrang <laughs> saya and all of these things. I'm shaking my and head. When he, I'm sorry. I'm shaking my head like. Well, no. that's what I'm saying is you could. You, come on, you can see Anne here. Anne's that type of girl who would say something like that. You could say, so, wow, sobrang lakin at titi niya, sobrang guapo niya, all that stuff, muscle, muscles. <laughs> muscles, And that's muscles. it. And that's all. I mean, th- after this, you can't get revenge on the guy. He's not your boyfriend. The other one, he's not your boyfriend. And the other one isn't your and boyfriend it, anymore, so you shouldn't care. Right, and if I were you, yeah, if I were you, maybe the pictures that he sends you about his new girlfriend... Fucking send it back to her and say, hey, tell your boyfriend to stop, stop harassing calling. me. He wants yeah, me back. The most can do. Yeah, he wants me back. He wants he's me trying back. to show he's off that he's got. Off. Yeah, that's stop a good revenge. Handle your boy. Put it on your Facebook. Well, Blast yeah. it on your Facebook. Tag like, him, tag this her. This guy and say, is so pathetic. My fucking, right, my he's fucking boyfriend wants me, me so bad. Da, 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 da. Yeah, ex boyfriend wants me back so bad. Now he's sending me pictures of the. How pathetic. By the way, I just I feel... boned this dude last week. No, don't put that. <laughs> Blackzilla dick. You got a key. Ew. Uh-huh. That's what I would do. Be a lady. And then you're done. 
You're fine. In fact, you know what? That. Don't even post the pictures on Facebook. Just tell the girl, hey, please tell your boy to stop texting me and sending me pictures of the two of you because I'm so over it. Right. God bless he you. He wants me back so bad, but kisses. I can't. I, but, you know, I, so there's a reason why I broke up with him and I don't want to go back with, together with him. Right now, I'm dating this guy. And then show a picture of Saul. What? <laughs> <laughs> We're using your boyfriend in every kind of revenge thing that we need to do. Today. Poor baby. <laughs> Sorry, Saul. We're just fucking with you. Love you. All right. Uh, Love you too, bro. Uh, um, <laughs> you, you get what I mean, man? All right? Just, yeah, I do. You, you, the guy doesn't deserve revenge. Don't even think about yeah, it. It's the other neither of them you deserve revenge. Yeah. You can fuck around with your ex-boyfriend a little bit with the pictures no, and all that No, just stuff. text the girl and tell him, hey, tell you, do you have her number? Or do you know how to get Don't her number? Don't text her. Facebook friends. Okay, yeah, then there. there. That's send what her I mean. a message, Don't, but no, not no, on the wall. No. No. Don't send her a no, on the to, wall. I, I am I, <laughs> on I, I, listen the wall. to me. Don't listen to that guy. And and post a, a link to this episode tonight so they can hear you talk about it. <laughs> That's all. Oh. Hi, Nako. All right. Thank you. Right. See, we're in partial uh, I know the girl listens Denise. to this. I know. I know the girl listens pa- to this. So I'm fucking that. Well, then just send her the link at 3 a.m. What's her name? And be like, oh, What's listen to this. The last What's second to the last call. What's the girl's uh, name? Her name's Kina. Hi, Kina. Kina you know your Kina boyfriend. What? I don't remember her last name. She's on Kina your fa- fucking Facebook. All right, so Kina, if you're listening, your boyfriend still wants a piece of this ass here, and uh, he's not going to get it. He's and- now more obsessed with it when he found out that Anne, in fact, fucking casually boned some other dude. So, so for the betterment of both girls, I think that you both deserve better than that guy. Yes. You all So we're not just salt. on Anne's page. We're worried about you, honey. <laughs> Kina. Okay. All right. Everybody's happy. All right, all right Anne. Thank you. Not no, but Anne, you're being... Be- kiss throat. What? But, but Anne, but Anne, have you you've given your boyfriend blowjobs though before, right? Ugh, why are we asking? Yeah. This isn't even part of the problem. No, no, no. Because then this is when I go. So just say this. Listen, ex boyfriend. Uh, you know those times that I've yeah, blown you. Phones. When I when I had <laughs> sex with this guy, he had two. He, it felt like he had two penises just because it was so big compared to yours. Okay. 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 Right. I don't agree oh, with that, right. and don't do All it. All right, babe. Be a lady. Next, Next time he texts me, I'll remember to tell him that. Okay. Be above. Please do. No, no. Be above it. Blast it on Facebook. Be Facebook above blast. it. <laughs> Thank good. you. Your kids will read right, your I'm Facebook off. timeline Bye-bye. when you're old. All right. Oh, Bye. shit. What a night. <laughs> um, Couple more and we're out of here. Uh, uh, this is all Ask FM stuff, so there, this will be quick. Okay. Uh, Denise Laurel here. Denise, uh, hey Mo, I'm 19, mm-hmm. female. Mm-hmm. My boyfriend is 20, mm-hmm. male. Mm-hmm. He, uh, she's a model. Uh, well, she's pretty, mm-hmm. but uh, boyfriend doesn't allow me to do photo shoots or be a model. Huh? And uh, I want to do this because it's fun for me, but uh, you know, I need some straightforward advice. How do I handle this guy? Uh, then why are you with him? Um, don't allow anyone to limit you if that's your dream. If you really want to do it, then he, if he loves you for everything that you are, then that's a part of who you are. That's a part of what you want to do, and that's a part of what makes you happy. So if he really, but let's loves be realistic, you, Denise. Being an attractive celebrity like you are, you've had. A, have you had any boyfriends who've had issues with you, say, having a kissing scene or? No, I don't you know, let them control do... me. I'm like, this is how you met me. This is who I am. This is what I love to do. This is what makes me happy. If you're not cool with it, if you don't understand. The time that I put into it, if you don't understand the effort and the things that I have to do, then bye. True. And and um, 19-year-old female, if you're a model, that means you're probably good looking. And if you're good looking, that means you can always say, hey, listen, if you can't hang, I'm gonna find me another guy. I'm hot. I can always find another guy tomorrow <laughs> who's going to be cool with it. To the left, right? to the left. Exactly. That you can just you can you can step over there and I'm gonna find that guy right there. Don't stunt my growth. Me. Just That's say right. that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good for you. Last one. I'm right here. Mo, 18 year old female. Mm-hmm. I had a one night stand with a friend, mm. and now he's not texting me anymore. Don't text Why? him at all. <laughs> Damn. Because he That's had horrible. sex with him. That's all he wanted. Yes, come on now, dear. And on that note, we're done. When we come back, we'll wrap it up, find out who caller of the night is, say our goodbyes to the beautiful Denise Laurel. And I shall be and, back. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll be back in a few 
Well, like a minute, we'll be back. This was a short. No, short I break. meant for more episodes, dummy. Oh no, no, we'll talk about that when we come right, come back. When we come back, yes. Okay. Cool. Good times with more the podcast, season two, brought to you by Globe. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you've downloaded the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, with the game Chubby Bunny. But um, what's like? Have you played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth. You say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth. And you okay. Keep Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you, okay, gonna ba? Okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, na okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Or I'll do two at a time. Okay, gonna ba? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, no. Okay, no, okay, no. Take a little sunshine, drop a little rainbow, mix in a smile, stay for a while. Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, always room for one more. Sabrina's Kitchen, cooking up a storm. Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new. Sabrina's Kitchen, tables waiting for you. 
what you've been missing on the factory. Okay, now we're gonna show you guys the new beta that just came out yesterday. It's God of War Ascension, the private beta. For and PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus. Let's watch it, right? It's nice and we can play already. Yes. Yep. There you go. And perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing. But before that, I was, I was kicking ass. <laughs> so go with the theme of the show, How Not to How Play. It's Robot Rice and Friends with Alfonso Martinez, Mickey Han, and Nigel Zalameo. Fridays, 6 to 7 p.m., only here on The Factory. Friends says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here, it is Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season two, brought to you by Globe. Want to thank our guest tonight, Denise Laurel. And Yay. maybe we can uh, change the term guest into semi regular mm -hmm. host. I know. Perhaps. Working yeah. on it. What, do you, what, do you, what would you prefer? Tuesdays? Is Tuesdays good for you? Probably. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. she said what? <laughs> no, she's they're making fun of the with uh, Bianca Valerio does Tuesdays. Oh, well, she does Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. But we can always ask her, hey, maybe she wants to do MW so we can open Because I work for, uh, Monday, days. Wednesday, Fridays. Yeah, and, I know. I but I wish you guys had but Saturday how, shows. But how can you do uh, Tuesday when it's nighttime? Then you have taping early in the morning. Is that good with you? Well, okay. this is around the time where I'm working out. So, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, because I wake up yeah. at noon because I get done at like morning. I get home at 9 a.m. Yeah, so you know, say you wake up around 1, maybe hit the gym around, th you know, 4 I instead. love how you're making my schedule. Can I bring yeah. my son? <laughs> Can he sit on the couch and just. I'm yeah. sure he can t t t right now because he probably doesn't fathom a lot of this like, hey, I just gave myself a little I wouldn't be right? surprised but, if he goes, But maybe in a fuck. year, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, in I'm a year or so it. maybe, you know, um, like if you start singing that song, what does, what sound, what is it, what does the fuck say? Hey, 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 hey. Like, mom, that sounds like they're having sex. Probably not a good idea. Yep. Um, Ruined it for but me. But yeah, no, no. We, we'd love to have him. I, I think I think it'd be cool. You know, yeah. have him over. Well, yeah, or not, maybe. Right? I wish you guys had Saturdays. That we'll would be work. perfect. We'll, we'll try to cook something up. Yeah, But Denise, Saturday. thanks for being here, love. Oh, we'll I love see you hopefully here. next week. Yeah, yes. we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it works mm -hmm. out. Uh, you can follow her on Twitter again at D underscore Laurel. Uh, Annalisa, of course, on uh, ABS CBN. Check out the uh, what's it? The movie. Uh, any album coming out for you? I mean, no. you're, you're, you're an exceptional singer. Well, what's the yeah, deal with that? I don't know. Politics, kidding. Why not a single? Let's at least throw a single out there into the universe. Yeah. Oh well. First of all, I don't know. I'm just so bitter about it. Nobody lets me sing, so I'm just gonna put up my own YouTube channel, or maybe sing here on the show. Hmm? Why not have a podcast here where you kind of just sing? I mean, like aside from this one, where like say Saturday show where you kind of just take requests from people. You're live giving them ideas. Take... They're like looking at each other. And I mean... No, I'm serious, man. I think you, I, you listen. You have a huge following. I, let's see, your Twitter following is already what seven hundred sixty thousand people follow you on Twitter. That's 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 strong numbers, man. And, and I, I love them you... all because they're all like they're not just like followers that follow you. They actually talk to me and like. Send me messages every day. They're like a solid group of people that, you know, I feel like I know most of them already. So it's not just like followers that, you know, oh, I'll just follow this person, but you never hear from them. They're actually active. Well, listen, don't give them too much credit. Next thing you know, you're going to invite them to your wedding. All of a sudden, you got 700,000 people you have to pay for, and it's not going to be cheap. No, of course. Yeah, it's just, you know what I'm it's just us, you yeah, mean, meaning right. you're going to be there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be the remember. I'm gonna be the one that goes, "Hey, hey, hey wait a minute, I, I object." And then Saul's no. gonna turn around and give me the stink eye, and I'm like, "I'm just kidding." I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> Run, <laughs> just kidding, bro. <laughs> yeah, no worries, Run, man. <laughs> but yeah, it's always <laughs> so, a pleasure to be here, and I want to do it right. more often. So Fantastic. hopefully, you guys well, so, have Saturdays. Yeah. And Mo, you gotta give me songs to cover. Hmm? I will. I know. Oh, oh, what are you talking? About? Hello, have you Hello, heard any of the songs that I've been playing songs. tonight? Okay, uh, how about you? I've never seen a diamond yeah. in the flesh. I could do this. I, I see myself. Give us a little sample of that, man. No, Come on. No. Come on. It's a surprise. That, I can see it till I guess like the next voice. episode. Actually, Lord sounds a lot like your voice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Interesting. And this is my voice right here, baby. I got a lot of voices. You make me want to get you pregnant. You make me want to get you You in trouble because um, Saul kind of sounds like Trey songs. Oh, does he sing too? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not oh, in front of man. people, but he does. Oh, you know that's a man. plus. Oh, I know. Fuck. All right. All right. All right. All right. You have my blessing. You can All break right. up with me and go with him. Fine. But um, we still got podcasts together. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. We'll see you next time then, love, mm-hmm. or next week. Uh, and. Um, yeah, have a good night, everyone. Thanks for all the. Oh, oh, caller of the night. I, 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 I say night. let's just go with Anne, the the last caller, the one with the whole. Um, what was her issue again? What was Anne's issue, Cousin City Girl? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the boyfriend with the bang the casual sex guy, Facebook liked mobile phone drama. Let's just go with her. I like her. I thought she was kind of cool. She had a nice personality. Because she liked you. She was like, yeah, you remember me. Oh, my yeah. God. You remember me? And then she said she wanted to sleep with me off air and stuff. She's oh like, I, like, did I sleep with you? She's like, no, but I want to. And I'm like, She okay, said that? I didn't hear. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, totally. Yeah, she said that. Cool. <laughs> All right, so let's get out of here. We'll see you uh, next week. We'll yes, see everyone please. else tomorrow night. And, um, yeah, have a great week, everyone. Thanks for listening to us and for downloading the show and for calling in. All right, bye, Denise. Good night. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gulata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. You can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.